Well, hello, everybody. When last we left off, a question was asked about uh, water, wah, wah, wah. water from uh, water of Eldath. Uh, Hope. He takes the five hundred gold. Cool. From. Fenjor. Mm -hmm. And uh, hears you like double down and slam 2,000 gold on the counter <laughs> and looks up and realizes who it is. <laughs> and immediately just pushes your money back to you and says, no, 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 no. This is, this is, this is plenty. Um, actually, this isn't that hard of a topic to look oh, into. Oh, they owe me a favor. <laughs> um, uh, he says, just give me a few moments to confirm uh, the information I think I know, uh, and then I'll be right back. And he goes, spends about uh, 20 minutes in the back, and then uh, you guys are just kind of sitting there in the waiting area. And eventually he comes back, and he gives you the following information that they know about this. Uh, it is essentially Holy Water Plus. Take whatever the effects of holy water are as written and multiply them by 10. This also has the effect, in addition to what holy water would do on undead, it will also turn undead. Oh shit. Clarification, is that CR rating still multiplied by 10? CR of holy water? Of turn undead. Turn undead, it has, like, we can There's only turn undead. There's like... CR ratings based sure. on our level. Uh, that one is not, uh, that one is not. Um, it would be, like, it has the power to channel the energy through, but it's still tapping into you a little bit for it. Oh, okay. So... I would say it still has the same CR rating for Turn Undead. Um, but it's automatic. There's no throw for it. In addition, okay. uh, there are a number of apothecary texts that they found that this could be used as an ingredient for some pretty powerful healing shit. And really, with that, I mean, the sky's the limit as far as that's concerned. I mean, experiment, find an alchemist. Many options on the table. Okay. He thanks you for your time. And he thanks you for your money, Fendor. Thank you. And he promises that he will get oh. the information. Oh, man. Uh, there's no, no text on there about... Um how much is needed to to make uh, the holy water plus like there's there's is there an ingredient or like a like an amount he's just got a water skin full of it uh volume like a one to one ratio uh, so same as holy water sure i cool. don't know the size of holy water i i believe just like in a vial i i, right? I believe i believe I, I I did look up the the, the size of, of yeah. holy water. Uh, I believe I have thirty three uses. Then, so your water skin has thirty three uses of holy water super holy times water. ten. Yeah. yeah, holy water plus times ten. Yeah. Damn. Okay. Cool. cool. So Sick. you you uh, unless there's anything else you guys want to do before you head out to Faerun. Did Brie want to do anything? Uh, yeah, no. Cascade would hit up a music or music, a magic shop or two, uh, looking for some spell scrolls to transcribe into her uh, tome. So you're just looking for the materials to transcribe, correct? Uh, yeah. Like she has, she has like paper and stuff. She would just need the spell scrolls, like that. Like, here's what the spell is that she can then put in. 
knowing what I know now, um, I'm gonna take the vials that I picked up, and I'm just gonna give everyone um, one vial okay. of Eldath water. You all have one vial of holy water plus. Uh, what specific spell cr scrolls are you looking for? Um, she's looking for uh, enlarge reduce. She's looking for Polymorph. And she's looking for Catapult. Um, can I ask a question? I gave you a spell book early on, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. None of that stuff's in, in there? Nope. Okay. Just want to make sure you didn't forget about that. I just want to make sure you didn't forget about that. Yeah, I've I've already taken all of those and transcribed them. They are got got it. in my book. You know, you know what you're doing. Just want to make sure. Yeah. All good. All good. Uh, what level are those? Uh, let me look really quick. I don't think any of them are particularly high. Uh, reduce and large is a second level spell. Um, catapult, I'm pretty sure, is a first level spell. So confirming. Catapult's first level. And polymorph, that's the one that's higher. Uh, I think that's a fourth level. Yes, fourth level spell. Okay. Based on your current standing in the city of Sigil, or Sigil, and the fact that you do not have your advocate with you, uh, you are unable to find the fourth level spell scroll. Or they weren't willing to show it to you. Okay, but I was able to get reduce and large and catapult. Correct. The pricing for uh, catapult was 150. The pricing for reduce and large was 375. Uh, you okay, all, yeah. you also ask. Uh, I'm assuming you would ask about the price of a fourth level spell scroll. Were they to have it? Mm -hmm. Three thousand seven hundred and fifty. For the record, arcane shop, urban availability, expensive column is where I got the prices from. No, that's fine. I, I'm. Uh, no, I was saying so that you could shop on your gotcha. own a little bit. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Um, and then just to confirm, boo, boo, boo. when and this would probably be when Delg is doing kitty cat uh, shenaniganry, she would be doing uh, this. Um, and let me make sure I know where it is. Da, 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 da. Uh, the time you spend uh, to copy a spell into your spell book equals uh, two minutes per spell level. Uh, if I use my quill, so it would be in what is that? Five minutes. Three Not minutes. A lot of time. Yeah. <laughs> Three minutes. Yeah. She uh, it just kind of as Delg is taking mittens and talking to it, uh, she's in the corner just kind of side eyeing, quickly writing in her spell book and snapping it shut. That's all. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. So we are going to. Narratively fast forward a little bit. Uh, as you go to the casino, uh, prepared with everything in tow with you, uh, you are surprised that they let you in with all of your stuff. Uh, are we? Well, they wouldn't before. <laughs> yeah, but now we know what they we're here for. Sure. <laughs> they take you into that uh, that small room again, which is even more cramped now that you have all of your stuff with you. Um, and then they take you into the side room and they put blindfolds on you. <sighs> and you feel them leading you around the building. You hear the sound of people getting louder and quieter as you're going. Yes, Delg? 
I'd like to, while we do this, try to keep track of where I'm going. Sure. Make a survival check at disadvantage. Yeah. At 11. You're able to track that you are heading away from the entrance you came in. Mm -hmm. And you, I mean, it's not hard to track that you're going downstairs. Okay. Uh, you, when your head pieces are taken off, uh, you are in a room with a number of uh, doors that lead. It's not a large room, but decent sized room. Um, they open a door, which leads to a room that has a magical arcane symbol on the floor. And I believe you've done this before. You all step in and blink. And suddenly, you find yourselves outside the air is warm the uh, sun is shining and you seem to be missing a little bit of time <clears throat> Um, all right, uh, take a look around to see if we can identify where exactly we are. Yes. Uh, Maybe send Mistral up in, in the air to have a look around. Uh, actually, with, with Mistral going up in the air to have a look around, there's no roll needed. Uh, you are currently back in Faerun. And Mistral... basically tells you you're right there. From high enough above, Mistral gets a sense of the surroundings enough to be able mm -hmm. to pinpoint that you are near a road on the other side of Arabelle. Now, because we established this before, I feel like y'all would avoid Arabelle and mm -hmm. head to where you wanted to go, which is the Thunder Peaks. Mm -hmm. Yes. Now, I'm going to help you a little bit and remind Delg that he has a way to get much closer. I know. I was thinking about that. It almost seems useless, oh. but going mm -hmm. through Arabelle is probably pretty dangerous. Don't want to be there more than I uh, have to be. Um... Does anybody have objections or would rather go through the town than past it? Mm -mm. Nope. <clears throat> we'll be going through the town soon enough. Uh, one one time will be plenty. Uh, one, two, three, four. All right. Um, in that case, I will... Yeah, I don't even need to be touching anybody. Uh, I will cast uh, Word of Recall. What does it look like when you cast Word, Word, Word of Recall? Word of Recall. <laughs> um, it's a good question because uh, I've only set the location. I think, I think what would happen is. Uh, I'll, I'll look around at everybody and tell everybody uh, to hold tight, and I will say by all this, take me home, and uh, the light around us would get really bright, and then dim back down, and when you guys can see again, we'd be back inside uh, 
because I set it, I believe, underneath the water. So we still have to go, have to go up, I believe. Or did it? No. No, I couldn't. I know it's above, because I couldn't set it uh, below. I don't think, right? Uh, I don't know that we actually established that. I want to. No, actually, no. It has to be below because we went up and then we were attacked by the thing chasing uh, Artemis. No, so didn't I you? I thought you set it on the, like, if I remember right, the map. I believe you were at, like top right of the lake. <clears throat> yeah, I thought that that. Oh area yeah, because it is. Woods was the part was the Eldath shrine. I don't think the yep, yep. the tomb it, elven. What is it? Elva, unless I'm thinking Elf. of something completely Elf. different. No, you're right. I was thinking of casting it's Hollow, not, which takes uh, 24 hours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I didn't need to do that. So, yeah, it's right next to the portal stones, or the stones that I assume are portals. So, uh, as the light fades, hopefully we should be right there. Just flip a big old bird to Arabelle as we're, like, zooming past it. <laughs> you all find yourselves uh, again around this serene pool in the middle of the Holic Forest. The, uh, for those of you who have not been here before, and your... Oh, I, I, I thought this... I was actually thinking this was when I came back. So uh, I must have got this wrong. You came back. You were watching. You were... <laughs> well... Oh. Yes. Yeah, I was watching. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so... This uh, this pool seems to be surrounded by um, uh, basically like Stonehenge level uh, size blocks, um, and it seems like there are a number of archways that form portals. Uh, for your edification, in case you you don't remember from watching, uh, those are here, here, and here. Um, Gotta yeah. step away from that. <sighs> <laughs> um, I know we uh, are supposed to go to the mountains, and I don't know how safe everybody else thinks this is, but we have a sword that we don't want to be carrying around. Do we want to leave it here, or do we want to keep it on us? <clears throat> is that even a question? It slightly really? is. They broke into it. In the future that we were, they broke into it. So we technically weren't supposed to have this sword yet. So if we do leave it here, is that how we lose and have to go get it again? Or maybe they'll uh, just take it back. The problems of time travel. <laughs> <laughs> right. I feel like I feel like it should be safe here. And but it's also safe in the place it's at. It's not my sword to hold on to, so you make the decision. Also, I don't know how it actually works, but they attune themselves to somebody. You can't attune to it from what I've noticed. And I know you lost Coin Spinner because it just bamped. If this one can do mm -hmm. that, I don't know if it can do that from where it's at now or inside. Like, if it's in the stone, does it lose that ability? Yeah. All good questions, Doug. Cool. Um, I just figured since we're here, I'd ask it real quick if we want to leave it behind or not. I mean, because right now, it from the place where it was sheathed in the I'm, stone. I'm, so I'm talking about keeping my sword. I, okay. Well, whatever. Right, but she's talking about if someone else were to gain access to the room. Right, but as Somehow. of right now, even Morningstar couldn't gain access to it. Only to we could. To be fair, right. that was when they were all present and that portal door thing was open at the back of the room. So maybe them all being there means it didn't, didn't matter if they were taken out anymore. It's just a thought. I'm doing a Delg thing of just thinking about it out loud. Um, so maybe... <laughs> with all of them not there um, and only one put there, then that means then something locks in it. I don't know. I, I would ask the, the Sphinxes, but I think we ran out of questions. Yeah, sorry about that. Um, it's okay. You asked an important question.
I think we keep it with us for now. Better to know where it is than assume it's safe somewhere else. Then what is the catalyst for us bringing it back here? When we're done with it? When we have all, we have all, all the other ones. So we're just going to carry around 12 swords? Very easily, yes. I mean... Doesn't that just put a target on us constantly, though? No one knows do we, we have it. Do we do not have a target on us already? I yeah. mean, we always do, I feel like. Yeah, that's true. Not the best, fun. The best part of this sword is, unless you know where it's at, you can't get to it. Hmm. Yeah. I know right? a few people who know you have it, though. But we also... They'll go, like, look around... <laughs> Being afraid that, like, someone is listening. We also have two of these things where it could be in. So keep in mind, they were looking for something they knew we had, and they couldn't find it before. This is true. I feel like we've had this conversation before, so I'm just going to be quiet and just say, hold on to the sword. <laughs> yeah. Should we try to find a uh, Dracolich lair? Want me to ask the squirrel? Mm. It has yes, please. Do your, do your thing. I don't even know what I did last time. <laughs> so real fast, um, <laughs> I need a couple things from you guys. A okay. virtual high five. I'm on it, my dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> First and foremost, uh, Chum, the player, I need uh, I, I, I have to ask you a real world question. So, okay. You've in your career, I feel like you've studied a lot. You've read a lot of manuals okay. and technical things. Um mm -hmm. How do you feel like 18 hours of nothing but reading would affect you? Mm. Um I mean, it depends on the book. 18 hours is a long time though. That for three days. So, so you know, tr treating it, book. treating it like a job. Six hours a day, um, though. Um, it'd be sixteen hours a day for three oh, days. Oh, sixteen hours it a day. 40, it's forty-eight hours. Still, but either way, still, it's still, a that's it's still a lot. a lot. I'm gonna ask you to make an intelligence it's saving throw to resist mm. one level of exhaustion. Intelligence. intelligence Can he have it at advantage because throw. he's an elf? Okay. <laughs> I, an what? elf. And elves, well, because elves don't have to sleep as much. They don't sleep. They meditate. Yeah, we only do four. This and is... they only have to do half as much sleep. Right. This is about the amount of time he spent studying, not the amount of time he spent sleeping. Okay, yeah. but here's, so, no, let me hit you with this. <laughs> let me hit you with this, because I'm a wizard and I kind of, studying's kind of my deal. What if I had given him my, uh, my, <laughs> rub or my uh, welcome to wizarding school, uh, school. <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying to formulate some bullshit as I go. What if I gave him, you know, when you go to college and they give you that like book that's like, welcome to college. Here's some tips. Like, uh, are you like, what kind of learner are you? Do you like listening or taking notes? And the cascade just sliding it across the table to him Boy. to be like, listen, bro. Right. But my that's argument is shit. not, not the reading part. Cause yeah, he's You're done the reading, Joe. but Joe, he doesn't. Joe. Uh, you're mm -hmm. muted, Joe. It would be like him getting, uh, if he was, if he, if he slept for those eight hours or rested for those eight hours, it would be like him, him getting two too days long of sleep. rest. Too yeah. long rest. So the exhaustion yeah. bit uh, is what I was arguing. Let me just, let me just make an intelligent saving throw. <laughs> I want to hear what Joe was trying to say, though. I know. At the same muted. time. No, so, it was, it's stupid. Just to make I rolled a 15. I, love it, I rolled a 15 plus five is 20. Yeah, you're good. You're oh, fine. yeah. I knew you were going to. Thank you for all the effort. I appreciate the all the all the. <laughs> um, I was scared, all right. <laughs> uh, so Listen, okay, I was too. Okay, I was privately, too. <laughs> privately. Uh, I'm not gonna say why, but I do need an Arcana check from you, Delg. Privately. No, I mean, oh, I'm not telling okay. everybody why I'm asking for it. You right, know yeah. why. Uh, a six. No clue. Um, uh, yeah, I don't know why. And <laughs> as you all are standing around the pool and uh, contemplating the world and the sword and what to do with it, um, I need 
a constitution saving throw from both Varus and Doug. Here we go. Oh, shit. For Does the record, a 35 work? <laughs> what? <laughs> yes. I have a plus six. Oh, no, sorry. It's a 30. Excuse me. That was what... That was what it would have been if it was a charisma saving throw. Constitution, 19 plus 11 is 30. Okay. What the fuck? <laughs> Resilient feet. Yep. Uh, and Del, what did you roll? 13. 13. So I have to check something oh. real fast. Get your silver bullets out. Fuck. <laughs> Everyone just start spritzing your holy water plus at Del. Yeah. <laughs> Good thing we got this Eldath water. Splash. Fuck. <laughs> All right. So, uh, hey, Delg, I need a couple yeah. more rolls from you. Excellent. No. <laughs> I'm ready. How long are the fangs and how much hair covers his body? <laughs> a lot of my body's already covered in hair, so it's cool. <laughs> much more hair, though. We notice like, are we no talking... change in Delg whatsoever. <laughs> <laughs> he likes bacon. He's still hairy. <laughs> And he's oh very perspective. God. <laughs> so... God damn it, jump! <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Oh, oh no! Is it the God. gift? Is that it? <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> All right, Del, here's your first roll. I need a D100 from you, please. Ooh. How? Mm. He's really good Great at these. Oh, yeah, well. 74. That's really good. That <laughs> mm. is. That's a C, dude. I'm pretty C's sure that's a magical. Degrees. No, look, I'm pretty sure that's a magical item on the wheel. <laughs> <laughs> I like Turk's idea of making mist holy water like a hydration station. It's very good. That's actually really good. Yes. Idea. Yes. Um. So. Uh. Do you remember what the last uh the last physical symptom you felt of your predicament was, Delk? I can go back like a month and find out. Does anybody no. remember? No one knew. Mm -mm. I know, but I said it out loud, so I was curious if anybody remembered. Oh, oh God. It's okay. Don't worry about it. Uh, you had digestive issues. Mm. <laughs> like, your stomach was like oh, cramping yeah, right. up and hurting Aww. to the point of causing you damage. Right. Um, it <laughs> that That pain that you remember grips you again suddenly and forcefully and you can all hear uh, you can all hear Delg's stomach grumbling like like he was hungry in the middle of like an amphitheater like it is loud oh. how much sound his stomach is making your guts are all kinds of fucked up right now I'm going to send you while y'all are trying to figure out what you're doing exactly what has changed okay cool oh, it's no. probably because i accidentally accidentally ate some of this cat food i bought it's raw meat <laughs> <laughs> it's cool i had to buy no. this is this buddy, is premium buddy premium Take it over to the bush over there all right okay this is go in go the water over to the bush no, for the record <laughs> that's a holy pool don't go in the water for the record uh uh, one to thirty-three would have been uh, that. Uh, Thirty-four to sixty-six would have been that, but worse. He did not roll either of those. Uh, See, told you I rolled good. God poop so bad. No, no, I don't. It's cool. I just I'm hungry. <laughs> I mean. Your stomach can make weird sounds in any point of the digestive hey. tract. I'm just saying. Listen, I'm okay. I just ate the wrong meat. All right? That's not a thing that happens to you, Del. No. Any meat is, is good for Del. No, Delk, no, okay? no. This is, this is raw weird. prime meat for the cat. I bought it. I paid oh. good money. It's this, this, and I'll he'll pull out a ration. This is, this is one ration for, for the cat, and it's five gold. That's a lot. Jesus. Ooh. All right. This this is this is some good shit. So you had to taste test like it? A pate. Five I meant gold. to grab the bacon. I wasn't paying attention. It I've never heard a human 
Or a dwarf, dwarven body make that noise before? <laughs> it's crazy. And so pronounced. It's like a symphony. Feel free to You know, the... if he wants. So I don't know this. I only know this out of character right now, right? Yep. <laughs> you have a hunch. <laughs> that if... Because I can use this to yeah. my advantage. <laughs> Mm. Of course you can. When you give it, when, hey, hey, Saint, hey, Saint, oh. hey, Saint, yeah. when you give an a catchy lycanthropy. <laughs> like, you just gave me an extra weapon, thanks. You can expect him to that ask shit. about other things. Because I can, I can, like, choose to fail, right? Sure. <laughs> All right, cool. He now has the the prestidigitation spell and can make a stink cloud. Like, <laughs> at will. There we go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, how are you guys finding uh, Alglaras's lair within the Thunder Peaks? Um. So, not that anyone else knows this, but um, Varys was just gonna take a second to tap into a feeling he had when we first came to this place to try and see if I can divine a direction that we need to go. We need to go. Okay. Um, can you tell me, because I, I can think of a yeah. couple different things you're referencing, okay. potentially. I just, I want to so... know exactly. Um, let me see. Was it in my notes? Where was it? Oh, yeah. So when we first got into the Hulak Forest, I rolled an Arcana check and I got a 20. So mm -hmm. um, there are the several different iterations of DC that you sent me. Um, uh, one of them says uh, there are several locations. Or Sorry. There is a there is a power within the woods from an old source, the kind of power that jealous or self-centered people would want to have buried with them. There are several locations in that direction, likely a burial vault, which we found, pro and probably the lair of Argorosa, uh, which can be powerful magic and artifacts your patron wills to have. Um, so that it'd be that direction. So I know where the burial vault is, right? It's the other thing that. Uh, sure. Uh, make another. I'm not gonna read the rest of that because oh y'all don't need God. to know that stuff. <laughs> Hang on. Okay, uh, can I get an Arcana check from you to check into that feeling again? Yes. Please uh, and thank you. Arcana. Wait, isn't that a Carly Rae uh, Jepsen song? Thirteen. Anybody? <laughs> Damn it! Right. What are we I, talking about? Listen, Sarah got it. Sarah's laughing. She's also she chewing food though, so she can't actually laugh. <laughs> I'll cut to the feeling, but whatever. Um, what was the roll again? Sorry, thirteen. You said? <laughs> Did it was it something I said? No, uh, it was yeah, something 13. the Saint said. You're good. I have ADHD. Oh, okay. I've lost track of everything I've said in the last thirty seconds. Um, <laughs> you laugh like I'm kidding. Uh, yeah, so 13. No, I understand. You you have a general sense of the direction to start out. Um, and that okay. kind of leads me, unless anybody wants to do anything here at the pool, that leads me into how you guys are going to find your way into the forest. Um, There's trees. Just walk. Actually... <laughs> I believe we should have horses and carts <laughs> somewhere. What? In this area. Are they we... dead? <laughs> nah, they would have been grazing. <laughs> but they have a cart on them. I don't know how long we've been crazy. Gone. I feel like they would have gone into survival mode and like started chomping at their harnesses and shit to <laughs> be freed and like, please, I just can't shit next to Breton anymore. This is too much. <laughs> There's five horses and two carts around here somewhere. I'm sorry, Sarah. <laughs> a lot of food 
started <laughs> talking the last. I mean, he's not five minutes. We did leave some horses just, and cards here. And it's listen, on we have pretty good vibes. level right so. now, man. It's just easy picking. Anyway. Anybody who would like to look for the horses is more than welcome to make an investigation check. Hell yeah! yeah. It's my oh. lowest investigation. All right, right, let's do go. It. I'm doing it. I'm rolling all my dice. Where are my horses deal. at? Twenty-two. That's cocked. <laughs> I can call it the guy that didn't have anything to do with the horses Ooh. rolled a 22. <laughs> you guys said 20, something about 24. horses. <laughs> you guys said something about horses? I want to find some horses. Hell All right. Yeah. So, uh, Delg, where, where'd you put them? You don't know. Uh, <laughs> I remember where else, I put them. Remember exactly where. And uh, you go over and the horses are, they're gone. The cart's gone. Um, you can't find... Uh, you can't find any like tracks in the grass of like the blades being broken from the wheels uh, or uh, kind of pressed down from the hoofs of the horses. So you get the sense that it might have been a while, like time might have passed a considerable amount of time. <clears throat> also, Varus and Fenjor, you do find tracks. They look like wolf tracks. Oh. Oddly, there are <laughs> only two legs per animal. Oh. All right. Hey, Doug, you might have some uh, family members around here. <laughs> Odd. <laughs> Don't see. Uh, well, it's a good thing Artemis uh, paid for the horses and carts. That's all I got to say. That's so sad. <laughs> You don't find any blood. You don't find any so sign of like struggle or anything. But you do find tracks of bipedal wolf-like creatures. I think they probably just returned to nature. It seems like they're all right. All right, well. Shall we continue on foot? <clears throat> what are the other choices? Yeah. So, well, you say that, but Love. let's think about the season two finale. Um, <laughs> uh, okay, so here's how this is going to work. So you are looking for a lair of a dragon in a, in a mountain. Uh, um, I just want to whisper to my sword and see if my sword knows. Uh, which sword do you have again? Sightbinder. Um... The sword grows slightly hot in your hand. <laughs> cool, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put him back. It seems quenched. Uh, you in know it. the general direction to go. Sorry, go ahead. I didn't mean to interrupt. I, th I was gonna say, I think, I think Delg's the one that does that, right? Not you. You know the general direction to go currently. So you have set out on the path to this. I would like uh, to have you guys tell me how you're going to find it. You can, like any sort of skill check like this, you need to pass so many to get to it. Uh, every time you do the same skill or a similar method of finding that place, the DC goes up. Um, and while you were all contemplating how you're going to find a cave in a mountain range, uh, you watch the sword in Delg's hand point towards the pool behind you. What? 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 Why? What? What? Why? What? Why are you? Po why is it pointing at the lake? That's where we don't need to go. We don't need to go that way. What did you ask it, Doug? Where not to go? Where not to go? <laughs> you asked it where not to go. Yeah. Uh, insight check. Uh, you're more than welcome to. Oh. Uh, I will tell you that your passive insight gives you the suspicion you should make a roll. <laughs> 21. Uh, when he said I asked it where not to go, that's pretty much what he did what he said he was telling the truth when he said that 
We're supposed to go to a ca uh, go to the mountains, right? Um. Yeah. Do I see animals around in the forest? Birds, squirrels. Yeah. Uh, I'd like to cast Channel Divinity Charm, plants and animals, and uh, hopefully one of them doesn't resist. Uh, say uh, DC 18 wisdom. I would say that something shouldn't have, but I mean, my cat resisted twice. That, ooh, that cat actually. <laughs> yes. Mittens has been charmed. Okay. It did. Uh, Mittens will still not use the pounce feature. I understand that. Okay. Um, so, <laughs> uh, the what uh, in order tell me the 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 animals that you would you would try uh the initial animal i would be looking for is the squirrel because the squirrel has helped me out before uh then uh a bird okay and i'm pretty sure that's probably all i would have actually seen that would have been readily available maybe a frog but i didn't think the frog would have been my, like my last the squirrel rolled an 18. Okay. <laughs> the bird rolled in that one. There is now a bird paying close attention to you on a bird. All right. I want. <laughs> I want to I mean, ask it if it covered more ground, probably. Well, so. that yeah, but yeah, I want to ask it if uh, there's a cave or a dragon nearby in what direction. Uh, the bird kind of like cocks its head to the side and like chirps a couple times. You can like talk to this, right? <clears throat> like this isn't like a one question situation, right? Yeah, I can. Yeah. I'm just, I'm trying to make sure. Mm -hmm. You can ping it in chat. That would help us both. Well, the channel divinity just says it charms it, so I'm looking for. I mean, because I cast this. I would this, say, and this doesn't really say much for well, us. I would say that. Good. Um, well, just I don't. I want to know like how common knowledge um, some things are, because obviously I've read things on the side, whatever you know, dragons. Their layers create effects in the environment, right? Mm -hmm. So they they alter the environment, and I want to know like how common knowledge that general information is. Maybe not the specifics of how each dragon's layer affects the environment, but just the fact that a dragon's layer in the area would affect the environment in some way that wouldn't appear natural to that environment. Maybe. Uh, I mean, the information is and available for you. You would know that to talk to Delk to help him ask the bird question. There you go. So after I notice yeah, that the bird... Yeah, that and also just to look around and see if we notice any of those changes as we go. Uh, sure. I will be aware that you are but looking yes. around. So after I notice the bird okay. like took interest in mm -hmm. that, it's charmed, I would cast Speak with Animal. Uh, so that I gained the ability to verbally communicate with the beast mm -hmm. and the knowledge and awareness of many beasts, blah, blah, blah. Uh, you can give me information about nearby locations and monsters, including whatever they perceive or perceive within the past day. Mm -hmm. So again, I would sit there and talk to it, tell them I'm looking to find uh, an entrance into the cave or if they what know, a, uh, there's. I was told there was a <laughs> dragon. Never seen one. Never seen one. There's. Is there a cave nearby? There's mountains. There's a lot of caves. Good point. Never seen or heard a dragon. I look at Fenjor and I say, "There's, there's no way this works twice." Uh, I'm glad you said that. What? What yeah. works? <laughs> no. No. Just watch. Yes. I want to insight check the bird. Sure, make an insight check. 
He's charmed. This poor, this poor bird. At he's advantage because he's charmed. Bird. No, twenty-eight. Oh, he's uh, yeah, no, the bird it seems happy to help. Oh, okay, Bro, good. it's a fucking bird, dog. <laughs> like, come Listen, on. I'm suspicious. Happy to help. <laughs> the bird's name isn't Cascade. It's gonna be fine. <laughs> What's the bird's name? What's your name? Waterfall. Waterfall. <laughs> Okay. I love different. Pretty close to Cascade. Cascade, Waterfall, both water. <laughs> yeah. <Rattagenasi>, water. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, we're, we're, we're looking to find a... You said you haven't seen a dragon, but a shadow dragon. No. Um, have you seen a lot of people travel through here? People's a strong word. Okay. <laughs> Where do they go? <laughs> There's a There's a There's kind of like a, a hollow uh in in the hills uh not okay. that far from here it's kind of like a den it's like a cave but it's like not as deep as a cave what direction There's no dragons in there That's all right but what direction uh, is that way <laughs> That way the wing just points out All right perfect have you seen <laughs> carts and horses recently yeah. that were left over here? Yeah. Do you know where they went? That way. All right. Perfect. Thank you. <laughs> Turn around and look at everybody else. Hey, I know where our, our horses and carts might be. Bird lands on dog's shoulder. There you go. Perfect. Oh. Make, make a new friend, did you? Uh, shoot. I, I, I... I I push the bird like I, I get it off my shoulder uh, and I carefully look around for my cat to make sure it's not trying to pounce on the bird. Uh, so <laughs> you see the cat near you, like doing the little like back paw thing, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like just waiting. Uh, and the bird flies up off your shoulder for a little bit and then goes and lands on your other shoulder. Uh, I'll turn. Cause Mittens is charmed. I'll turn to Mittens. So's Mittens. the bird. Huh? So's the I bird. I know. Mittens? <laughs> no. No. The bird's nice. I'm gonna and again, need I kind of want to teach you. I'm going to need you to make an animal handling check <laughs> at disadvantage. Can I help? <laughs> How are you helping? Are you first of all? Are you proficient at animal handling, Fendor? Yes, sir. How are you helping to com um, command I, I, this dino cat? Damn it! I, I would, uh, I would more uh, help instruct Delg on uh, the way to, to speak to the animal. Um, you know, not not too assertive, not not trying to scare the animal, um, but still get your point across. So there's like a Caesar Romero dog whisperer moment between Fenjor and Delg. <laughs> as Delg is trying to command uh, Mittens the dino cat. Caesar Milan. To no, Caesar Milan, yeah, sorry. Uh, Caesar, Caesar Romero <laughs> like, is, the, is the joker. Caesar Romero is the joker. <laughs> My pet. <laughs> He's like, <laughs> <laughs> Both are applicable, I suppose. <laughs> I can't. I'm done. Uh, so I'm it'll done. be it'll be a straight roll now instead of a disadvantage. Animal handling dog. Oh, it's Oof. so good. Oh no. Sorry, right. he needs practice on his pouncing anyways. I also need you to make a dexterity saving throw as a dino cat is now pouncing at your face. Oh no. It's a trap, right? This is great. How it's much not does this cat weigh? I love Dungeons and Dragons. How much does this <laughs> how, cat weigh? How um, much does this uh, cat weigh? It's a kitten still, right? It can't be more than 10 pounds. It is, As the cat yeah. flies to, towards Delg, uh, it's just going to get stopped in the air as Cascade <laughs> uses Mage Hand to just catch this dino cat <laughs> and then hold it. And um, just... as, you've, uh, as those who have, have had cats in their life will know, uh, when you put a hand up to a cat that is attacking or whatever, uh, your hat hand suddenly gets wrapped around uh, and the fingers are bitten. Uh, the, the dino cat is now floating in midair, attacking the <laughs> hand. 
Uh, the... Oh, my God. The bird is still on your shoulder. <laughs> Not too smart, Cascade's is he? Cascade's gonna mage hand the cat away, just holding it suspended in the air, looking at Delg and say, Can we go? <laughs> uh, I'm gonna shoo the bird away and thank him again and tell him to carry on. And then walk towards the cat. I look the at cat. and say, just, just when it was getting interesting. So here's the thing. We made it 10 feet. <laughs> no, so you guys went into the woods uh, Heart narratively. Heart stop. Yeah, you went into the woods. So 15 feet. Uh, and you made it to oh. a point where the signal is no longer really helping Varys, and now we're talking to the thing. Um, <laughs> now we're talking to the birds. So here's, here's the thing. I, uh, from what I can tell... Charm effects do not require concentration. No, it lasts for 10 minutes. Or, no, that's the speak. <laughs> yep. I don't know how long. It lasts for an hour, my dude. Uh, the bird will fly away from your shoulder as you shoot no, it away no. and land on your head. As an action, oh you can God. charm uh, for one minute each beast or plant. Oh, okay. Charm divinity is for one minute. Oh, well, then it flies away. S yeah, and then speak with, speak with animals is 10 minutes. <laughs> So yeah, but you I can talk he's... to any animal, right? Not just mm -hmm. the one you charmed. Yeah, I can and talk for... to any animal. They I just, talk... I don't yeah, there you go. Yeah, I could talk to anything <laughs> for ten minutes total, and one of those minutes was wasted trying to get this bird to go away, <laughs> and so it wasn't charmed. I got, I got like nine minutes left. <laughs> do you need, do you need help, like trying to get your point across? Because I can help you. I can talk to them, and they understand me. You would just have to like let me know what they say back. I don't know. I mean, I would still have to cast the spell to be able to comprehend them. Well, maybe you can, as as the now speaking with animals expert, <laughs> I would just rely on, on your previous experience for this. <laughs> what exactly did the bird say? Oh, there's, uh, our horses are this way. <laughs> uh, Is that it? in like an alcove or something okay probably more like a gen. just our our aha uh -huh. <laughs> mm, there it is oh i'm yeah like a lion's den what what um, kind well, of den are we talking about Actually, we all fought you know, the werewolves or saw the werewolves. Well, you know, that's just it. Like, it, it never said. It was just a den. So do we but there's no dragons that way. called it a den. There's no dragons word. in there, though, right? The bird didn't see any dragons. It doesn't know anything about dragons. Uh, so should Bree. we just, like... Oh, yes, Bree. go ahead. I have a question for you. You don't happen to have any sort of... Uh, tracking protocols do you you were able to find hope and delg in an interplanar hotel of the gods do you have any resources in your disposal or Unfortunately, my dis my discovery of your party was mostly due to investigations and, frankly, luck and intuition. Well, we're lucky to have you here. So thank you for finding us. Uh... <clears throat> now I'll actually ask the Wayfinder which way to go to get to the Draco Lich, the Shadow Dragon. 
and the Thunder Peaks, right? That's the name of the place. The map's gone, so I'm pretty sure. Mm -hmm. Yes. The yes. Thunder Mountains. Thunder Peak Mountains. Because yeah, yeah, I don't want it to point to some random shadow dragon. That's... Hi, where's a dragon? 500 miles that way. Yeah, the hardest. <laughs> yeah. I'd, I'd, I'd say it out loud, too. The nearest Draco Lich in Thunder Peaks. <laughs> Uh, the sword points back the direction you came. God damn it. What? Towards the pool? Uh, yes. <clears throat> Stupid uh -oh. sword. <laughs> um. How, how far are we from that pool? Uh, we'll say a couple hours worth of walking. Okay. Why uh, would it say we have to go back? Because it chooses the hardest pathway. I know, but I can't imagine what that would be. Uh, back to the pool and then go 10 feet that way and then cut back in and go through the woods, which is <laughs> longer and harder. <laughs> like, mm. um, I will, since you did reference that it tells you the hardest way possible, I will remind you about the rest of that. Uh oh. It tells you the hardest way possible to the next step to achieve your intended goal. Mm. Yeah, that's mm. right. So, there's a really, really hard way to get there, and the first step on that path is backwards. Sort and then back forwards this way. Back. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm just going to um, put Wayfinder up. <laughs> yeah. I have an idea. I'll okay. need... I'll need time. Uh, it's not a short... I mean, it's short, but... Uh, is there anyone... Uh, on any of the other planes besides... Artemis that we can think of that would know... That would have this information. Would I get to the Dracolich? Mm -hmm. Yes. Or have access we... to this information. I don't think we know anybody. I mean, I would say Kylie, but I don't know where she is. Yeah, Artemis was the one who told us about um, this place. Why? What, what are you thinking? What are you? What are you going to do? I can contact entities on other planes and ask uh, questions. It's risky, uh, or rather, I should say, there is risk involved uh, in in <clears throat> in this uh, spell. It is possible that I uh, break my mind and go insane uh, until I can <laughs> uh, have assistance. However, uh, we could be able to find the information. I'm confident if I am careful, uh, I could, I can make this work, but we would just need to know who to ask. <clears throat> I don't, I don't know if there is anybody to ask. Uh, I'd like to try to recall when we mentioned the shadow dragon, the Draco Lich, when we were doing like friends, allies or neutral, if, uh, Kylie seemed surprised or like m maybe knew something. Make a history check. Nineteen. Um. She didn't seem. She was hard to read. Um. She wasn't necessarily surprised. At the name being mentioned, or the, like, Dracolich. Like, it wasn't like, oh, wow, Dracolich. Like, that's something you don't hear every day. Um, so she, you recognize she's at least heard the word Dracolich. But there was nothing to indicate that she, like, knew more uh, right. than, than that. Just, like, it's at <clears> least <throat> a topic that's been broached before. You, right. would, I'd say, I'd say with that, you could have, you could put together in hindsight that it's likely, based on the knowledge you have now, Tan has probably mentioned the Draco Lich in her presence. 
Tan has? Yeah. Because, like, she is friends with Tan. She's kind of working with him in an assistant semi kind of role. And okay. so, like, she's, like, he reached out to her to handle his affairs with you guys and get you set up in the house. So. So maybe Tan would be better than Kylie. Which we could use sending it, which is very less. Listen, Crazy. I'm happy. I'm happy to do whatever. I these are the tools I have at well, my disposal. Hear me out. I know what everybody was thinking as well. The den. There's a good chance if we go there, we might be able to get information from them. <clears throat> Yes, it's probably true. And if they live here, then they might be able to help us better than a bird did. Bird almost died. That's not great. Um, we don't we don't want to kill innocent birds on accident or get them killed or anything like that. Yeah, maybe we should go see if the werewolves know. Well, we don't know they're werewolves. I mean, we it's just a den. It could be I bears. I mean, we uh, saw werewolves, so... We saw wolves. Two-legged wolves. No, we didn't see any two-legged wolves. They're all four-legged. We saw. Oh, I'm, you, I, I'm sorry. I, I saw well, the tracks of some two-legged wolves. I saw wolves. some tracks. Yeah, we saw some tracks um, over there. It's definitely werewolves. Weren't there a bunch of, like, wolf... The two legged wolf people things uh when we first got to the pool? No, they're all four legged. Were? Yep. Okay. Anyway, lead on to the den, Doug, since you got the directions. It's... I think we try that first, see what they know, and um What time of day is the it? The only other person I can think of Keep going. I'll answer when you're done, Varys. Oh, uh, the only the other person I can think of to, to contact about something like this would be the um, librarian at the Nowhere Inn. They might mm. have catalog of a Dracolich on this plane. That's oh, that's a, a really point. good idea. <laughs> Mid to late morning. I was wondering if you guys were going to get there. Because <laughs> when you said that, yeah. when you said like, can we contact anyone on any other planes? I'm like, yeah, they know we're in. And like, we're just... I, that's what that's mm -hmm. one of the people I had like listed, but I wasn't sure because the uh, and Cascade would explain the the challenge with contact other plane is that the answers are like yes, no, or uh, unknown, irrelevant, yeah. never. Like they're they're short answers, so it's one of those things where it's someone might have the information, but like. It's that thing where, like, someone can yeah. use the one word <clears throat> to convey more than well, one if word. If we want to the talk nowhere to in. the nowhere in, we could just go there, and I'll hold up my stone of, like, going there. Some of you can go there. Stone of Everybody going can. there, no, yes. We can all go through the portal once it's open. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Anyway, we'll just keep that, you know. As an option. So are we talking to these? Uh, I forget. There, did we yeah. reach a consensus on the number of legs? <laughs> Between two and four. It's definitely two legs. I'm it, sure they're it both, depends both on the, are there. the day. Yeah. Yeah. I'll head out towards the way the bird directed me. Late. It's late morning, by the way. Mm -hmm. Um. Let's go. Let's go. Is everybody heading towards the den that may or may not be for two-legged or four-legged wolf-like creatures? <laughs> hey, this for both. Really huh? No way to know. Hey, the world is having pets. <laughs> yes, we're going. Yeah. No, there is a way to know, and we're about to find out by going there. <laughs> <clears throat> I mean, I, I don't want odd. to, but I find it. it odd that you would just believe a werewolf when they told you how many legs they had, Doug. <laughs> Look, we've encountered werewolves, and I can still uh, verify if they're lying to me or not. 
you head in the direction that the bird pointed with his wing and uh, go deeper into the forest. It's still towards the, the peaks, but uh, it's a little bit off to the side. Like, instead of going towards it, you're kind of like going this way. Um, and you start to hear the sound of thunder, like in the far distance, um, as if there is a storm coming on the horizon. Uh, you notice that the terrain starts to kind of get a little hilly and, uh, the trees kind of go up, uh, a hill and you can't see over, so you have to climb up and it gets a little bit more difficult to, to traverse through this, uh, forest and you eventually pretty much in a beeline, uh, from where you started, uh, you see... Uh, a bird sitting on a tree. <laughs> and it notices you, and uh, its wing just kind of like points over in the direction uh, where you can see a couple of the hills coming together. And as you kind of round the bend through that little kind of mini valley, uh, you see what looks to be uh, a very natural looking like hole in the ground. Uh, with, like, some tree uh, roots kind of grown over the top of it a little bit and, like, some grass and moss hanging over to partially obscure it. Oh, I, that's <clears throat> where we're going. I'll, I'll, I'll head that way. <clears throat> so, like, thematically, you are approaching this hole in the ground now. Are you just walking up to it, or are you going stealthily? Uh, I'm not stealthy. Okay. <laughs> Someone else can, but <clears throat> Ace, that, not... Ace, that shit ain't no. for me. <laughs> yeah, a loud, a loud uh, plotting dwarf is now. Uh, I mean, stumbling towards. We're not trying to sneak up on this plate. We're trying to get information from these these folks. I'm gonna right? go so... ahead and be the sneaky one. All right. roll stealth. Please do. <laughs> yeah, stealth is not in the cards for. I'm gonna point this twenty-four. For bulk. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? With a nat oh, one, twenty four. <laughs> yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> oh Fucking roads, man. Like, what do you want? Uh, uh, they they can go and and be all yeah. clanky and shit, and I'm just not. <laughs> it's uh, I'm just not. <laughs> it's um. You I want to. I want to obviously space myself away yeah. from them a little bit, so I'm not like totally point at in, a, the whole in, time. A, in a circle of <laughs> loud clankiness. No. As as you all like watch Delg take off and you go to follow, like I guess we're doing this. Uh, you all watch <laughs> as Fenchor just goes and hides behind a tree, and you're expecting him to come out the other side, but he's not. And then you walk past the tree and you look around it, and he's just gone. You have no idea where he is. <laughs> um, actually, it's not true. Delg knows. Uh, Delg has an idea of the direction you are, but that's it. Um, yeah, so you walk into this uh, burrow, and you can see what seems to be a, a limited uh, like cave system. Awesome. It doesn't look like there's anybody in here. Um, hmm. Was I'm, any I, sign I, of horses? Uh, make an investigation check. What's everyone else doing? I want to stay I'll like on the Doug edge. Look for the horses. Mm -hmm. I want to like stay like on the edge where I can see the party, but I can also keep a lookout on like if anything's coming this way. Uh, yeah, it definitely takes your dark vision to look into this hole. Though, because it's I, I, I do have black inside. I do have blind side as well. Yeah. I don't know if that matters, but eighteen, uh, eighteen. Uh, you see tracks. You see the tracks that um, both Varus and Fendor had mentioned. The kind of bipedal wolf-like tracks. You also see uh, regular footprints, uh, like humanoid of some kind, with toes and everything. You see prints of four-legged creatures. That look like wolves, wolf prints. Uh, you see tracks from a cart, and you see tracks from hooves. 
do they just like keep going further back? Like you said, this is a cave system, so like I can't see the end of it, right? Or can I? Uh, you can't. Um, like you're kind of just in the entrance chamber, but you see that it kind of branches off and goes deeper. Okay. Um, the, the the number of tracks you see are prolific. So it would be at with an eighteen. Uh, you can't tell whether they're coming or going. It's fine. Um, if no one else is doing anything, I'd call out. Hello, anybody here? As I continue inside. Okay. What's everyone else doing? I follow Doug in. Okay. Just give him back up. If I, whenever I lose sight of the party, I'm gonna follow him in. Okay. Um, probably eventually, uh, with that, with the stealth, I'll, I'll uh, actually probably scout ahead of the direction that we're going. I'm guessing that they're very uh, like linear paths as we go, like pick a, pick away, and then they're linear or no? I mean, it's it's like a natural cave system, so <clears throat> it's <clears throat> not linear at all. It, it's as if the um, the entrance way was kind of burrowed out, but it went into a natural. Uh, feature. So you could go down a different path and try to get ahead of them, but the tunnel is currently, even with your amazing stealth, you do not become completely invisible, and the tunnel that they are going down, if Delg is going straight deeper, is too tight for you to pass them. However, you could go down another tunnel and make a survival check to try to get ahead of them. Um... I think I'm just going to recon a different tunnel. Okay. Not really get ahead of them. I'm just going to kind of recon it. Okay. Uh, unless Bree, Cascade, or Hope would like to do anything in this tunnel system. Hang on. Completely frozen. Well, I'm going to take us to a break since this is a video in the future. We're going to get this situation figured out. This one. And we'll be right back.
Everybody. The video's back. Uh, I conveniently brought it back during the triple kiss situation. Um, so, as I was saying before, my internet decided to uh, become a baked potato instead of a regular. Take a short potato. rest. Yeah. <laughs> it, just, it just took a short rest. Yeah. Um, uh, if Cascade and Hope have nothing, Bree, Cascade, and Hope have nothing else they want to do, uh, we will resolve Delg and Varus going forward. Varus, you okay? Um, or are you taking the poo poo? No, there was this this <laughs> this lemon drink. It was very sour. <laughs> <Okay>. right <there. laughs> oh, I, sour. I just very see that. I saw the clenched eyes and the look of tension yeah, on your face. It was very sour. <laughs> I was like, can you never put like your green screen here again? <laughs> lemon face. All right. Oh god. Okay. Lion. Moving forward. So, mm -hmm. uh, let's do Fenjor first. Uh, please make an investigation check for me as you head down this other tunnel. While I do this, I just want to say I can't roll less than 22. Yep. Okay. 27. 27. Uh, uh, yeah. So, Fenjur, you discover that the ground is ground. Um, you, like, get the sense from what details you can fig find that still remain. You're able to find scraps here and there. Um, and you put together pretty quickly that this was a home of some kind. This was uh, used uh, every day as some sort of... Uh, I mean, let's just let's just put it out there. It looks like there is a pack of something that lived here. Um, but there are artifacts that seem like they would be humanoid. Like clothing and scraps of material and bits of uh, like a broken piece of something that reminds you that it could be like a plate or something. Like this was once a home and probably not that long ago. <clears throat> All right. Delg? Yes. With, uh, either uh, roll from each of you or at advantage. We'll take a roll from each okay. for investigation. 16. So the tracks in this particular area, as you go deeper into this little uh, den-like complex, uh, they there are less tracks. Um, there are no horse tracks and there are no cart tracks. And Delg, you are able to pick out a direction. Um the most recent tracks that you can find seem to be going out. Awesome. Well, it looks like uh, there's no one here <clears throat> and everybody left. So yeah. On to, on to the next plan. Does it go further back still? Mm-hmm. I am also kind of curious on if there's anything back there still. Like what? That's the question. What? Hey, Saint, did I... This is this is very delayed, uh, but now trying to put pieces together. Uh, did I hear you correctly when you said when we came back to Faerun uh, that we had lost time? Mm-hmm. Okay. Cool. Uh, can Thank we you. Get a sense of how much time that is? Cascade's kind of standing outside this den, uh, just racking her brain of ways that she can get the information uh, that we need. Sure. You can make a history check, but the DC is much higher now that you guys have spent time. Can I help her with that? Now knowing that, like, hey, we were in Barovia and then the uh, abyss and the mm -hmm. stairway and all that for X amount of time that we thought, but we were, in reality, it was way longer than that. Are you proficient in history? Yes. Uh, I am as well. I was going to say uh, before you rolled, but oh, now I only have one choice. Um, so please do it at advantage. I'm so sorry. Okay. I didn't mean to. Oh, you're good. 
Yeah, there you go. 24. I was going to say, did you want a lower DC or advantage for the help is all. Ooh. Mm. Um, advantage yeah. is good. <laughs> um, yeah, there was something about the teleportation, specifically you, Cascade, because, like, while you might not, I don't know what's in your spellbook currently, um, while you might not exactly know the magic that goes into, like, a teleportation circle, uh, or, or, like, tethering to a certain place, uh, you have at least studied a little bit in that area. Uh, there was something a little off about the magic. Um, you get the sense that there was intentionally built into that particular teleportation circle a little... How about you just go to sleep for a little bit? Oh, God. And uh, I would say... What's your intelligence, Cascade? Uh, 18. Yeah, we'll, we'll give this one to you. Um, knowing what you know about your particular uh, history and the businesses that you did with the criminal enterprises and organizations and knowing what you know about the casino and the master and everything else, um, it is probably a safety measure so that you don't know where that teleportation circle is. Teleportation circle automatically puts you to sleep. You show up. They move you away. They leave you there. You come back. Wow. Hate that. Okay. You also get the sense you didn't miss much time. Okay, so it wasn't like long, like a 20 minutes or something nope. like that. Negligent. Okay. Uh, I think she would uh, hope it's all right. It's just these criminal bosses thinking that they're very clever and hiding their mysterious teleportation circles. Oh, God. They can never be found. Um, so I don't think we need to worry about that piece necessarily. Okay. However, uh, could you do me a favor? Do you have sending? Yeah. Could you just try asking Artemis if he knows where the Draco Lich Lair is? I, he might be blocked. It might be a total waste. But if we can get through, it might be worth it. I mean, I'll I'd do anything to help. Yeah, uh, I will cast Sending towards Artemis and ask him, Hey, we're finally on track trying to go and talk to this Draco Lich. Uh, on our way, and we don't know exactly where to go. Can you help? Are you okay? Um, you have a feeling of slight resistance when you send out the sending spell, um, which I think you've sent it across a plane before. Yes. Uh, you get the sense that when you send it out, it kind it went beyond the plane, and there was like that little like pressure and pop as it went through um you know whatever like an that... international call that just kind of blips for a second yeah <laughs> um you get the sense that it landed but you don't get a response huh. which to just be completely blunt and uh unobfuscated uh, that means Artemis is still alive. Okay. I would very quickly cast Sending again, but mentally, so that no one could hear. Uh, I can tell you got this, and I know you can't really respond. Please know you can respond mentally. Any answer will do. Just want to know you're okay. Can mm, keep ping uh, sending for me again? Yeah. Please. Yes, sir. Uh, Twenty-four. Twenty-four. Nothing back. It landed though. 
Okay. Um, he got the message. He did not reply. But, good news. Means he's alive. Where? I don't know. But he's alive. That is something. Um, thank you, Hope. <clears throat> I'm going to go back out of the... I assume Dog and I went into like a cave structure. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to go back out and send Mistral up to look for the aforementioned changes in environment. Okay. Just looking for some sort of change in the landscape that looks out of place for a mountain pass of this, you know. You, you know, if it's uniform, is there a patch that's weird? You know, that kind of thing. Hmm. So you went out of the cave, yeah? Yeah. Is everyone else still in the cave, or are you guys going out? I think I'd probably push in just a little further. Not gonna lie. Is my does my tunnel end at that den? Uh, it doesn't. It keeps going, but all it does is seem to uh, like. It's not an extensive cave system. I will let's let's uh let's let's do it this way. It's not an extensive cave system. It is a den, uh, for an animal, uh, and it seems like it is well lived in. The deeper you go, the more signs of living you see uh but there's nothing left all right heading out yeah uh you do i'd say uh specifically fenjor you know that the it they didn't leave in a hurry but they did leave recently like within the last week or two i'd uh i'd probably tell the party they that uh you know they probably packed up uh they probably uh, used the, that sick uh, buggy and, and horses that you guys are talking about <laughs> to, to just move. So, if I'm understanding this correctly, we are no closer to finding the Drake the Lich Lair. And the werewolves that may or may not have been a part of a strange cult that desecrated the altar of Eldath are no longer here. Why do we think the werewolves desecrated the altar? Do I think that? My understanding is that the cult of the black blood is filled with lichen throats. Is that inaccurate? I feel like that's right. Right? And the cult of the black blood is hell bent on desecrating altars of Eldath. Am I tracking correctly? I think so. Oh, that's not good. I hope they don't find where my family is. Though, to be fair, I don't really know where that is, so they could be close. They could be really far. I don't know. Any other ideas on how to find? I could I could contact the Draco Lich directly, technically. I mean, I'm all. I'm <laughs> I don't try. I don't hear any of this because I'm. Mm -hmm. No, we'll get to that. Anyone looks at Varys, white eyes and. <laughs> Yeah, I guess, I mean, I guess seeing him do that, I'd be like, well, he might in a minute. Fair Are enough. you looking through Mishra right now? Mm-hmm. Okay, well, you can't even hear this, so whatever. <laughs> uh, so uh, we'll do Mishra, uh perception check to look for this. Okay. I know you're looking for something specific, it's... but it's pretty big di distance. Eight. Eighteen. It takes a while. Like, the the conversation that's going on, it, it's, like, five, ten minutes of Varys, like, zoned out, white-eyed, 
perceiving through Mistral. Um, and eventually, Mistral notices that there is one particular part of the mountain range that, um, as the sun kind of like comes out of, out of the clouds and uh, strikes down on the earth again, there's this one little area of the forest that seems to like for a split second sparkle like there was something in the air um kind of like a dark purplish hue um and you feel pretty confident that that might be something akin to a shadow feature of the land i will also say this was extremely hard to find and you barely found it. Damn. Okay. Mechanically, Good that, girl. Was, that was your second check and your DC is getting higher. Oh, shit. Okay. I'll bring her back and um... I think I see the effects of the dragon or the Draco Lich um, of its lair. You know, the, I don't know, there's a portion of the forest, and I'll point in the direction, um, that looks different. And it could be the effects of a, of a lair. I think I think we should head this way. Mistral could see that. It was very faint, but I'm pretty confident that it's what we're looking for. She did good today. Is she there back with you? Yes. I'll go up and give her some little scritches. Good job, Mistral. And obviously you various too, duh. But she likes that. Mm -hmm. I didn't do anything. I was just watching. You helped her. <clears throat> so pushing anyway, further into the forest in that direction. Uh, what else are you guys doing to make your way there? It's. I want to be clear. It's far enough away that while knowing where it is provides you a direction, yeah. you still kind of have to navigate your way there. Mm -hmm. Um, we should uh, not... <laughs> we should probably spread out in a, a decent bit to see if we find anything. I mean, not too far, but space out a bit. That way, if something's you know ten feet away from you, you're not gonna lose it. You know, you should still be able to keep eyes on each other, but at the yeah. same time, to cover more ground. That's fair. Find a better way up or something. Sure. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not, like, proficient in survival or anything, uh, but Hope didn't really have a whole lot to do in her village. It's at the base of a mountain, and her dad used to live on the top of a mountain, so she would, like, go up and down this one mountain mm -hmm. all the time. So I would say she's pretty decent at, like, climbing mountains. So what kind of Can checks I... are you guys making? I mean, I'd probably still use survival, but... Mm. Uh... Can I? I did a lot of research on shadow dragons, so I understand that shadow dragons and Draco liches, right? So I understand that they have a light sensitivity, right? Mm -hmm. That there's there's certain things that play into what kind of areas uh, they would want to inhabit, right? As we're tracking through this mountain range, trying to find places, uh, would it be possible? I mean, I. I don't know check wise what you would want me to roll here but like using that knowledge that she had to determine like it's obviously not going to be like in this area it's you know or obviously not going to be in this area and try to like narrow down uh, using her uh, spellbook eye to kind of observe around and working with uh, Varys and uh, Mistral to get recon to determine you know 
if we're looking at this, this these areas seem less likely to try and narrow it down even as we move closer. Could that be something? Uh, uh, yes, but let's do Hope's thing first. Uh, Hope, Great. Mm -hmm. um, please roll a survival check to try and help navigate your way towards that particular point on the mountain. It's only a 12. Um, you, uh, you check in with Varys and start asking questions about the, uh, topography of the mountain between here and there, uh, what was seen through Mistral's eyes. And, uh, you, uh, being used to kind of how the mountains will kind of finger out, um, and, uh, become, eventually become hills, but also, like, almost like uh, roots of a tree that's next to another tree will sometimes, like, move around each other. Um, there are definitely, like, snaking areas of the foothills of a mountain that you might find. Um, you're able to identify one that you could have gone down, and you would have either had to, like, literally climb a mountain or backtrack a considerable way to save time on your way to there. Uh, so you do feel like you're... Uh, your help was a success as you push further into this uh, forest. Cascade. Um, I mean, what what kind of check do you think this is? I She's... Uh, Cascade's not... I think it's more of like an advising thing, right? Recalling the information from the studies and try to, like, whether that's history. Um, I could see it being... Uh, nature maybe because she's trying to like recall like habitat information mm -hmm. uh one of those because I, I cascade's just more like advising like hey based on my research these are the things that we should look for not necessarily actually engaging with the environment okay um and then fenjor when you said spread out what exactly were you suggesting with that um just kind of as we're walking through the forest, um, just kind of maybe get, you know, 10, 15 feet away from each other where we can all keep eyes on each other, obviously. Um, but to just cover more ground to see if, you know, if if an environment's changing maybe 10 feet that way, you might not be able to see it from 50 feet that way. So at this point in your journey up the mountain... Um, there is not too much of the influence of the lair, so to speak, that is kind of visible around here. Um, you would be able to tell more further along and closer. Um, however, I'm going to ask you to make... Because of Fenjor's suggestion, I'm going to ask you to make a perception check at advantage, knowing that because of how far you're in and what you're trying to do, the DC is incredibly high. Me? No. Cascade. But Can you're giving me? you're giving her advantage. Damn. Perception with advantage. Okay. Mm -hmm. She knows what she's looking um, for. You don't. I hate... I'm afraid. Yeah, no, that's an eleven. Yeah, I mean this this far down, it's kind of hard to to see. I right, cheat now. Features. Can you cheat now. <laughs> Whatever you want to, dog. Oh All right. God. Cheating. Just I want to find it where it is faster. You want to find it? Cool. Yep. My cash tree died. <laughs> hey, thanks. I found it. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> it's kind of straight for Make one minute. Thanks, man. I can move 25 feet in six seconds. It takes five feet to move in, five feet to move out. Hmm. We Do you still have the notes of how far we said you can get with that? No. <laughs> I wish I did. You tracked, like, all over Barovia in, like, a couple minutes. Yeah, it, like, <laughs> I, I, I know I could have been. It was really far. Okay, you know what? Because this feels like it's kind of, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong. I know what direction I need to go, too. You know so... the direction you need to go because of Varys and Mistral. 
Right. Um, and I was studying with uh, you were studying Cascade, with Cascade, so I know what I'm looking for as well as that. So I'm going to take over the narrative slightly and say that you guys, uh, you take one of the sending stones you guys have with you. And uh, would you guys be comfortable using that one time? I, I have sending yeah. prepared. You have sending oh. prepared? Okay. He doesn't even need uh, it. Um, yeah. So let's say thematically uh, this is also how you pinpoint the exact location. Because the last step was you were there, but you needed to find the actual cave. Mm -hmm. um, we'll say with Cascade's help, uh, you are able to identify the specific... Um, uh, like alterations in the atmosphere or the plant life uh, to pinpoint the exact kind so, of area within the mountains that you would need to go through to get to where <laughs> the cave starts. So I'll cast Tree Stride to get there, and I'll cast Sending when I get there, and then after I get there, I'll cast Pant Growth to put a big-ass arrow pointing into the <laughs> cave thing so when Misha goes up in the air... <laughs> You still can see it right here. This I is where I'm at. Her. Right here. Akechi, I'm so glad you're a part of this party with just everything you All come right. up with. My god. So we can't miss it now. It takes you hours to get there. Uh, with Fendror and Hope's help directing, you are able to make your way through uh, without getting caught on anything uh you have successfully uh done enough checks which honestly after mistral and then the tree stride thing i didn't even think of that that probably would have like i couldn't have made you do any more checks if you would have done that so thanks. i actually waited at the cave and it took a short rest uh, fuck you <laughs> <laughs> he did say a couple yeah. hours he did yeah. If I was an elf, I could have took a long rest. Shit. <laughs> listen. Listen. You follow... Don't you wish to become an elf. <laughs> I, I... Drown yourself in elf blood. Ta-da, you're good. Oh. Varys, I need... Varys right? and Fendra, I need you for a minute. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> sure, what for? <laughs> well... Post got your back. It's cool. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Not you, you werewolf. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. You follow the giant plant arrow <laughs> that will lead anyone to this cave now and Good. find a an area of the mountain range that you're in. You're not high up in the mountains by any means. Like, you're still kind of in the foothills. Um... But it has become more rock faces than gently rolling hills. Uh, or aggressively rolling hills at some point. Um, and where this arrow points, you can see uh, basically like a, a fissure through the rock. Um, it's big enough for one person to go through. Uh, with their shoulders, like, go through straight. You don't have to turn sideways to get through it. Even Delk um, can just go through. <laughs> and Cascade, knowing what you're looking for, and even Varys, knowing what you're looking for, um, you can tell that the way the rocks have formed and the way that the trees have grown, uh, this particular fissure... Um, it, uh, it is darker than anything around you. And at this point, it's maybe early to mid-afternoon. And you can see in the forest areas that are much lighter. But here, there seems to be a darkness. And as you kind of look around, like almost like floaties in your eyes, like you can kind of catch little glimpses of something. Slightly iridescent floating through the air. You are now at the Fisher to a cave. What would you like to do? Uh, go in. Uh, can I cast Detect Thoughts before we go in? Sure. Uh, 
I'll basic I'll drop it in the chat, but her I can hold it for a minute. Basically, she's just trying to make sure that there's nothing like sentient kind of creeping at this entrance. Uh like she's not trying to trigger anything, but Um What's the range? 30 feet. Oh, did it it didn't do the thing. One second. I'm so sorry. That's okay. I'm also not looking. Let's <laughs> see. So it's 30 feet. I'll read the part. Uh you can use the spell to detect the presence of thinking creatures you can't see. When you cast the spell as your action during the duration, you can search for thoughts within 30 feet of you. The spell can, pe can penetrate barriers, but two feet of rock, two inches of any metal other than lead, or a thin sheet of lead blocks you. Uh, and I can't detect creatures with an intelligence of three or lower, uh, or one that doesn't speak any languages. Uh, once I find, like, a thought, I can do, like, the dive deeper thing. But she's just essentially putting out kind of psychic radar of what the hell, is there anything here that we need to worry about? lurking in the trees or deeper in kind of as we were if we're going to move in she's trying to get mm -hmm. thoughts back before they see them or whatever uh and then how long does this last only a minute and, are you and it is concentration and are you casting it as you're walking in or before you walk in she will hold it once we've made the choice to begin walking in that's when it would trigger because i feel like with all of us on the outside of the cave if there's somebody to jump us like she'll know okay but it's more like a a, 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 a skeptic radar yeah. out in front Got to it. try and make sure that there's nothing that she can't see so uh, as you first uh, release the energy from the spell nothing uh, like, m maybe like a very small squirrel or a bird hear you. That's been following you, perhaps. <laughs> um, as you take a couple steps into the fissure, wherever you are in the marching order, you start to detect thoughts. A lot of them. Like, a lot. And as you go further... It only gets louder. And to be clear, I'm not talking like a dozen. I'm talking like hundreds, if not thousands. Well, 30 feet. I'm talking hundreds. Um, I feel like I would have been the first person in to go into the cave. Sure. Uh, who's behind Delg? I'll be behind Elg. Before I go into the cave, mm -hmm. I want to cast light on my shield. Cool. Bless your heart. And I also want to cast uh, shield of faith on me. The shield of faith concentration. Yes, it is. Is light concentration. No. Light's one hour. Shield of faith is concentration cool. for 10 minutes. Awesome. What does shield of faith do again? For those in uh, it gives me plus two AC. Okay. Uh, who's behind Vendor? I'll be behind Fendor. Who's behind Varys? Uh, I will, and then I'll just like look back at uh, at Bree. Yeah, Bree will bring up the rear. Uh, where's Cascade? I uh, I would assume between Hope and, and Bree. Cool. So Delg, Fendor, Varys, Hope, Cascade, Bree. <clears throat> Del, you were the first to see uh, this site. The fissure uh, turns a little bit as you're going through, um, and even looking up, you can kind of see like it's a it's a it's a naturally occurring crack in in the rock. And as you uh, round a corner in this little uh, mini narrow cave. Uh, you see in front of you a room. And in the center of this room, there is a slab of rock. Um, at first glance, uh, it looks like some sort of 
primitive altar made of stone. However, it is kind of hard to see more details than that because the entire room is partially shrouded in this deep, thick, bluish, purplish mist, like fog rolling along the ground. And you see the spectral, almost ethereal outlines of gravestones. Oh. You also see a cloaked figure with its back to you that seems to be tending to one of the graves. Uh, I'd move more into the room, so uh, I guess before I move in, I'd look behind me to Fenjor and, and uh, quietly tell him that there's someone ahead. And uh, then I'd move into the room more so everybody else can come in as well. Uh, not to really advance on the cloak figure, figure too much until the rest of the people can get in. Uh, see, these surface thoughts that Cascade's picking up, what are they? Um, I'm going to let your imagination uh, take you wherever you want it to go by telling you that all of the thoughts are the various last thoughts of someone right before they died. On repeat. Died to what? Because that would change. If I die falling, my thought would be different uh. than a dying and getting stabbed <laughs> in the chest. Yeah. So that's that's the thing, Cascade. It, it's it's as if like it's every it's different kinds of oh, shit. demise. It's not just one. There's not like a monster that they're all like, and then I saw this kind no. of thing. Nope. Is it like that one supernatural episode where they find these ghosts that are like caught in time loops of like the last ten seconds of their life? That was a really good episode. Yeah. That was a very good episode. <laughs> Poor Corbin. <laughs> uh, you do you do get one thought that seems to not be of death. Um, it seems to be like routine, mundane caretaking. You would know that it is the one spectral figure that seems to be more corporeal than the rest. Uh, of the environment. You don't see any other figures that are speaking. You are all now in this room, I guess, if you're all coming in. Yeah. The figure does not pay any attention to you. It just goes about its business. Is there, like, a clear passageway to, like, pass this room? I guess I would probably want to look at the altar. So, looking if around the room... You can see that there are four exits. One in front of you, one to the left, one to the right, and one you came through. The slab is in the center. And you are walking up the slab? Yeah, I'd be walking. I mean, if the, the hooded figure isn't paying no mind, then... I'm going to see if I can tell what the slab looks like, if I recognize it at all. Uh, it being stone and all. <laughs> <laughs> Damn you. Um, <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> yes. Uh, as you approach hesitantly this uh, stone slab, you see that there is a script written on it in common. Okay. There are four lines of text. I will not say them out loud, but I would like to read them. <laughs> beware, Maybe. <I'll... laughs> beware the words I write here is the first line. The second line is, of those who enter, none are left. The third line is, these woods are a portal straight to the afterlife. And the fourth line is in all caps. Turn back now.
I'll turn back and look at behind me then. The rest of your party <laughs> is waiting for you to tell them what you found. Um. Uh. Yeah, I guess I'd go back to the party. Um, Worth noting, the room is not that big. Okay. Like, think about uh, the room itself is about the size of a basketball court. But a little bit more square. Was that all that was written on there? There's nothing else, no other symbols or anything of the of sort? Uh, nope, just the script glowing in some sort of, like, ethereal bluish purple. Okay, uh, I go back and tell them that there's stuff written on the altar that was glowing, and uh, it basically says to turn back. Uh, but it, it was in common, so they can go look at it. I just didn't want to say what it said out loud, just in case. And when I said it was glowing, I kind of like nodded towards Varys, knowing that he's probably the most adept to maybe tell what it is or if there's anything else in here that is. <clears throat> Are we returning back? Are we going for it? Are we going to talk to this this person? Uh, has it been a minute, uh, Keeper? I'd say by this point, yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, as uh, the spell drops, Cascade will uh, say, guys, again, we're in this room. They can, this dude's going to hear regardless. Um, he seems to be performing some sort of routine function, maintenance of the area. I wasn't able to dig in deeper. But there's death here. The last moments of hundreds of... I would say souls, but the way this magic works, it has to be beings. Huh. Uh, hey, hey, Bree. I might... This might be out of the scope of your understanding, but have you ever seen anything like this? Does any of this strike a bell? As you hear church bells in the distance. <laughs> um, I think I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna ask that. Have I seen anything uh, similar to this? I'd like you to roll me a history check, please. I want to help, but I don't know how. <laughs> 17. 17. I need you, my dude, to make a wisdom saving throw. Oh, Whoa. no. Can I help with that? Because I'm proficient in it. No. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> oh, no. No, no uh, I didn't mean to bring you harm. Hang on. No, it's cool, because I have a luck blade. Wait, have you used the luck blade on your? I familiar? have not used it yet today. I used it before we went to bed, so dawn has came. There. I made sure <laughs> I made that note. Damn. Roll it again, Bree. Roll it again. Oh God damn you! <laughs> you give me all the fun stuff. I didn't Go give that to you. Give him a luck blade, explosive shits. You know. <laughs> it's a little better. Oh, oh no. it's better, but still that great. Um. <laughs> You've seen uh, Bree trying to access memories before. Um, there's a little bit of like a like a twitch with it. Like Bree is caught in something. Bree does not seem to be responding. Shoot! Oh, oh God, Bree, I'm so sorry. Uh, I, <laughs> what? I think as a reaction, what I was, was trying, she trying to, ask, to like, do, trying to think, trying to th think about what this place is and, and That's a, stuff. Could be a good and a bad sign. I mean, it's a bad sign that. This happened to Bree, but it's a good sign because maybe there is something there. 
this this is a person dog uh, as a reaction i would try and cast like lesser restoration to see if that does anything to her circuitry i don't know how warforged work but i'm trying um uh, sure. yes yes uh, as you cast uh, Lesser Restoration, uh, Bree, you feel it take hold and kind of snap you out of the uh, the sh short circuit's not the right word, but like the recursive loop, maybe, um, of thinking about this particular place and if you've seen anything like this before. Um, uh not only have you seen something like this before, you've been here before. Um. Well, we gotta talk to the Warforged more. <laughs> What's my what's my feeling? Um, I mean, I think I can gather context clues, but since Bree isn't connected to Sirenscape, um, oh. what what it's what spooky is, music right now? Yeah, music. what's what is my uh, like? What's the feeling I get when I recall this? Tune into in, Chum's stream. You can hear the tunes. <laughs> in an, a more emotion. Uh, no, I'm saying I am uh, connected, but Bree doesn't know. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. My God, um, that's adorable. I love this very much. <laughs> uh, foreboding. Danger. <laughs> oh, yes. I do seem to remember this place. this place like right right here this actual place oh yes we are not in a good situation <laughs> oh no I, I didn't think so i'm really sorry about that i'll, I'll try not to give you headaches or anything it's obviously time, but i got you better than what we thought because it says that Unless, unless Bree left right away, like, yeah. <laughs> I'm in danger. <laughs> <laughs> God. Yes. I want to believe that that's just like a little sound clip that plays like behind <laughs> Bree's head. Just... <laughs> <laughs> uh, Bree, what do you remember? Any particular specific details, things we should know? I got hands ready with lesser restoration just in case. <laughs> um, I mean I'm assuming that I'm not remembering much else, so um after just a quick like not even like gonna dig deep, I'm just gonna look around and say The one thing that seems to prevail is that this is a very bad place. We should probably either do what we need to do and leave, or alternatively, leave. See? I like the second idea, honestly. Well, you can't like the second idea. We came here and we know that a Shadow Draco Lich is not going to be a good thing. We're always in danger. We're always going in the spots that we're not supposed to be going. You think the abyss rang good bells to anybody? Like, I understand this is a bad place, but we came here knowing that it's going to be a bad place. We're going to go to Morning Sour's Tower for a book, knowing that's going to be a bad place. So the these this poem that was posted is that was that that's written on the altar. out loud. Yeah, I, I, okay, I came back common? and I. Yeah, okay. I'd written in common. I came back and um, told you and told you it was glowing. So, so I didn't know if you wanted to yeah, like, yeah, yeah. So like what kind of magic the, or whatever. The, la the, the third line there bothers me. These words are a portal straight to the afterlife. Turn back now. It's I, I feel like that's 
like a trap. If we turn back now, that's what leads us to the afterlife. These words are a portal straight to the afterlife. Turn back now. I'm just saying we came here I to go. We have to go forward. I would, agree. would passive investigation give anything? I think we're, I think we're locked anything? in. Uh, I mean, the passive anything investigation. Extra? So I will tell you that with with your passive investigation, you notice that the like nothing in this room is reacting to your presence. I cast a tech magic. Uh, the altar is glowing. As okay. are the archways of all four doors, including the one that you came in. Mm-hmm. Is this guy just still tending to a grave? Yeah. Cascade's gonna move up to this entity, and he's just, what's he doing? Just, like, brushing off a headstone? Or, like, what's his deal? Uh, I mean, he looks like... Well, first of all, as you come around to the front, uh... What sort of experience does Cascade have with the undead? Uh, I would say uh, not too terribly much. As she was not one that went to Barovia, I think she's more uh, experienced with the living. That's not necessarily something that you see. Uh in her line of work. However, she did just do a bunch of research on witches. So I feel like she's got some sort of understanding of at least the the principle, you know, the mechanics of it. As you get close to this creature, um, you kind of edge around and, like, it's almost like your eyes are a camera that are going around this thing as it's moving and like more and more of it's coming into sight, but the cloak that it has on, which is kind of like moving with the kind of fog like mist that's going through the room, uh, seems to be obscuring it at all times. And then like the hooded part, you finally like break around the side to see in. And as you do, the thing looks up at you and it is just a ghastly skeleton with uh, like almost like flesh still connected to the bone, but like dripping off mm -hmm. a little bit, like it's like sloughing off and it just like froze. Um, uh, if anyone else were to go around uh, and take a look, uh, this would be very familiar, especially to anybody who was in the death house. Um, this is similar, at least, Ugh. to, like, a white of some sort. Hmm. But... Cascade would... Oh, go for it. I was gonna say, it's, it's dissimilar enough that you're not sure what it is. I mean, Cascade's gonna assume, like, faces shouldn't melt off, uh, but this guy Ugh. also seems completely unperturbed, uh, with, uh, uh with our presence so i think she will just uh kind of walk in and say hello uh we're here we're here looking for information we're hoping to meet with the draco lich can you tell us which way to go how close are you getting to this thing uh she does not want it to be able to touch her so like it's that thing where you like meet a new person mm -hmm. you don't get like you give it like that step if they put their hand out you can take a step towards yeah. them to give them a handshake but she's not she's not up in its business uh you see that it is still looking at you as if it knows that you have engaged it uh it's kind of stopped what it's doing uh and you can tell that the jaw is like almost imperceptibly moving as if it were muttering to itself but you can't tell what it's saying i have the observant feet does it have enough lips that I can read it? <laughs> uh, no. I'm just checking. I get that his face is dripping off. Ah, yeah, but like, yeah. I mean, it's just teeth. <laughs> really, it's like... Are his yeah. lips on the ground, <laughs> like, <laughs> mouthing yeah. something? Yeah. Can we cast mending and mend his <laughs> lips back on? <laughs> I don't think so, no. <laughs> Do I get the sense? Do I get the sense that it's 
because it's speaking a language that I don't understand or that it just doesn't have the ability to speak? Uh, you get the sense that it is, it like, it looks like it's muttering something. You are not close enough to hear what it is saying, nor can you see any lips that will belie what it is saying. Say, I'm gonna closer. cast detect. I'm gonna cast detect thoughts again. I'm not getting close to this thing. Sure. And she'll repeat. Uh, <laughs> she's gonna repeat uh, the question. You know. Yeah. Um, can you can you assist? It's. Uh, I mean, you now like honing in on this one particular voice. Uh, of the thoughts that are around you. Um, first of all, you are in the center of that cacophony of thoughts, so it is not easy to hone in. When you do recognize that this is the thing that you are looking at, um, it is just an incoherent babble of like curses, regrets, pleas. Uh, it's almost like he's picking up on things that are being said around him and mimicking them. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and try and uh, get past this. Like, She suspects this creature is insane, but in the off chance that there's like a, a deeper consciousness, she's going to try and dive deeper in. Uh, so I need a wisdom saving throw. It's got to be uh, 17. Uh, yeah, it failed. What are you looking for? Okay. Uh, so let's see. Da, 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 da. Probe deeper. First of all, I, you're correct. It's batshit crazy. Okay. Yeah, that's my thing. Is <laughs> you gain insight into its reasoning, if any, its emotional state, and something that looms large in its mind. Got it. Such as something it worries over, loves, or hates. Uh, you get the sense that it is a caretaker, a caregiver of some kind, uh, it is protecting and, and guarding this graveyard that is here. Um, the thing that is looming largest in its mind, it is waiting for you all to make a choice and leave. And that choice matters a lot to it. Uh, she's going to hone in on that thought of uh, what like why does it matter you know what I mean like mm -hmm. it wants us to make a choice and she's going to try and probe that thought deeper yeah. for another wisdom save um, it's not one save you can go as deep as you want every time you go deeper it's another save I'm pretty sure yeah like let's see because I really okay. thought that it was one save and you get to fish once you detect the presence of a creature in this way, oh, let's see. Uh, I'd surface thoughts. Wisdom saving throw. Yada, yada, yada. Either way, the target knows you're probing into its mind, and unless you shift your attention to another creature, the creature can use its action on its turn to make an intelligence check contested. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, so it yeah, has to I, contest I mean, your, your efforts. Yeah, um, so a hundred percent. She's gonna try to chase that rabbit. Like, yeah. okay, all right, you want us to make a choice? Why? Uh, because that's the only thing you can do right now. You need to choose a direction to leave, and once you do, that choice will matter for it. What does it mean for it? Uh, it means whether or not it needs to protect the space. I would like to investigate the archways. Uh, yeah, sure. I'll let's, assist. Let's chase. Let's continue chasing this rabbit until it's done. But yes, absolutely. Uh, protects the space uh, from us. Yes. What's the and like? I guess as she's gonna probe again, like protect the space from us. And then she will say out loud, which way to the Draco Lich? You are no longer probing its thoughts. Uh oh. Uh, wait, time out. It's a contested intelligence. Sure. Uh, please roll make intelligence stop. then. Sorry. No, you're good. You're good. Let's see. Make an intelligence contested by my intelligence check. We'll just do. Come on. 
That's a 17. You are no longer probing. God damn it. Roll the 19. Uh. Uh, so you're checking out the archways, right? Uh, what are you yep. looking for? Uh, any markings at all? Um, even like sounds coming from the archways? Um, you hear the sound, the two of you hear the sound of wind from all four. Well, it almost whistles like a tune, but it's nothing that like prickles your feathers as important, Mr. No markings. No markings. Mm. I'd say if you guys are looking at all the archways, uh, you find nothing on the walls or archways. Um, it's just like it, it's like a, a very crude archway into a cave. Like you, you're in a cave right now. It's not like a room room. Like it's not a constructed room with like built archways. It's just like an arch-like entrance to another cave. But they, you said they were glowing magically. Correct. What kind of magic? I have to go to my cheat sheet, sir. Cheat sheet. Mm -hmm. uh, I will tell you it's the same kind of magic that you saw at the Pool of Eldath. What was that kind of magic? I don't remember that uh, one. <laughs> it was the... Um, the I think it's transmutation. Transformer change properties? No, that's not it. Um, Probably alter perception? No. Nope. Not false images? No. Nope. Nope. Bring things to caster. Conjuration, nope. transportation of objects? No. No. Oh. Uh, why Protect Why is it so hard? Why can't they just protective? have one for this? No. It's protective? Hang on. Hang oh, on. It's, <laughs> oh, it's different. Let's okay. go through the whole list. <laughs> Yeah. Well, is it like Optimus Prime? Is it Bumblebee? <laughs> I think it's Bumblebee. <laughs> the less cariest of the cars, but definitely still a vehicle. <laughs> Fortitude is showing up again? Got it. Uh, Hell it's yeah. Conjuration. Yay. Conjuration. Meat shield. Meat shield. Um, Activate. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I want to pick up a rock and toss it through the art, you know, the nearest archway to me. It, it doesn't matter which one, just to see if it, does it? it's teleported away. <laughs> uh, very similar to the infinite staircase. Uh, do you remember the stairs to the multiple levels? How could we forget? Yeah. Very similar. Hmm. Okay. Um, I think we have a puzzle of some kind on our hands here. Oh boy. I want to hold a vial, the, one of the vials of the, the water of Eldath, mm -hmm. towards the, the cloaked figure and just see if there's a reaction. Uh, it looks at you instead of Cascade now. All right, that, that's something. <sighs> um, I, but I, I want to like move it around. Is he focusing on me or the vial? You. Have, have have I been here before? Um, you can make a history check to find out. Which way does Wayfinder tell me to go to get to the Draco Lich? <laughs> Eighteen. Um, seems familiar. Can I recall anything? Not with an eighteen. Ooh, hate that. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, the sword in Delg's hand points toward the slab. Oh, God. I'll walk to the slab. Is it like... On the slab, you see scripts uh, glowing luminescently. There are four lines. The one says, Beware the words I write here. Of those who enter, none are left. These woods are a portal straight to the afterlife. Turn back now. 
So if I like go on the other side of the slab, does the sword still point at the slab? Yep. Okay. Just oh make shit! Sure I didn't tell I don't, me to go. No. Okay. Gotcha. I, it, it's it's a riddle. Uh, beware the words I write here. Of those who enter, none are left, meaning left from the way that we came in. These woods are a portal straight to the afterlife, uh, meaning going back to, to the woods. Is there any iconography? Wait, is of it woods? supposed to be woods or words? Woods. woods. These woods. woods. Okay. Are a portal straight to the afterlife, meaning you'll die. Uh, turn back now. Um, so we go to the left side I and then turn that. back. Oh, be, beware the words I write here. Like he's he's gotten right, but like, is it maybe it is just go back? Or you go to the left one, and then there's gonna be another room like this, and you take the right one, well, and no, then you so turn back and go back through. Do you see these were? Oh, these woods are a portal straight. No. Yeah. These are they. Are, there's all indication of directions in this. Right. So just remember them in order. So the first one is left. Unless it's right. Left, straight. Oh, yeah, sorry, you're right. Right, left, straight, back. Um, you think, you think or, this person has a sense of humor? They're making a play on words with right. Because it's every other line right, has like a right letter. Right, but every other line has a direction in it. Except it's for the either. first one. That that direction is missing on purpose, or it's a play on words. But here's the thing I don't mm. understand. Beware the words I write here. I mean, as a warning. So right. don't go no, to the I, right. Yeah. No, beware. Um, Pay attention I mean, to the words that are right here. Right? Beware don't. the right. None yeah. are left. That's what I'm thinking, Kenjor. The it's woods are straight. So we turn back. I, I'm thinking straight. Oh. No, because if you go straight, we go back to the woods. If that's what you're saying. We don't want to go to the woods. We want to go to the Draco Witch. All right. This is when I just do dumb shit. Does anyone have anything <laughs> that wants that, that they want to like do before I try to walk through that center one? Oh my gosh. Uh, one second just taps you on the shoulder with the death ward. Like, please, please just be careful. Well, the problem is, is like if they are portals and you can't turn back through them, if you go through that one and we don't follow you, who knows how you're going to get back or how we can get to you. I mean, like we all need to like agree to go in the one direction. Because if you go there and you go through it and if you turn around and come back and it doesn't lead you back here, then then what? We have no way to retrieve you or get to you in a sense, because if you accidentally about, go through and go back, and we go through, we don't know where you went. Yes. What about? Stone. What? Yes, I have the sending stone. What about the cube? Huh. We don't know how to set a portal. With There's the cube. already some set. But, but I don't think it's that simple. I think that we're speaking. There are beings that are trapped here. And agonizing moments of pain and death. I don't think it's as, I don't think we'll get the option to portal back if we make the wrong choice. You all start to notice that the uh, you can see like dust coming down from the roof, and you can tell that like almost imperceptibly the ground underneath your feet is shaking, as if there's an earthquake deep within the mountain. We gotta go. Lick it. It's been enough days. I just gotta figure out how to word it to make Benjor the target. <laughs> I think we go back the way we came in. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Well, wait, though. But do we see any other... You think... You think back is through? You think the... Yeah, these Either it passages are now teleporters. Yes. So we're going to get sent somewhere. Is the ground still that... rumbling? It seems to have uh, abated. You think the turn back now is 
is the direction to turn back now. Potentially. Either that either that or it could be that right is the correct way because there is no indication of turning right it says to the left says straight and says behind but there's right is the weakest the weakest assumption here is anybody's wisdom higher than 20 no mine is at 20 i i want to hold sight blinder above the tablet and ask it what it thinks It's heavy, holding it out straight like that. <laughs> okay. Um. Well, we're taking time, so. I I as long it. as we all move together, I think uh, experimenting with these. Hmm. I'd I like to... go How about right. this? Can we can we yeah, can there. I have ten minutes? Well, while you do that, mm. I'm gonna send Mistral through the portal behind us. I'd like to ritual cast divination. I uh, could I could also do a thing. <laughs> real fast before we get too far, uh yeah. Mistral breaks from your connection. <gasps> okay. Oh, no. Uh, wherever she is, it's more than a quarter mile away where she's gone. Can I bring her back to me? She pops back. Okay. Through the same hole? No. Yeah. Well, the no. way that she normally is summoned. Oh, okay. If they're still ritual casting their spell, I'll look at her and ask her what she saw. <laughs> uh, she doesn't remember. Okay. Uh, you got also, something, Ho- Hope. Hope, you said you wanted to do something, right? Yeah, I was thinking about it, but now I'm reading the spell, and I don't know if it will work. I wanted to try and cast Find the Path. Uh, ping it in chat. Whatever is through that portal behind us, she doesn't remember anything. I was just curious what it did. That's all. Yeah. I think I we think need to right. go to the right. I'm willing to try it. Well, let's let Delg finish his... Uh... Spell. And with that, do you wait? And Delg, what does your spell do? Uh, so I light some incense and I kneel and pray to Eldith Mm -hmm. and ask her to show the path to get to the Draco Lich. Knowing that most of the other times that I have cast this spell successfully, um, the incense kind of led in the direction that I was supposed to go. Uh, the smoke from the incense, uh, trails up and kind of dissipates into the atmosphere around you. And eventually it takes on kind of more of a solid plume. Uh, And then, as you are familiar with uh, from Barovia, uh, it uh, takes a bend and starts trailing off in a specific direction. Uh, And then dissipates over the slab. I want to touch it. It's cold. (laughs) Can it move at all? Does it look like I can, like, push the top off or, like, there might be a chamber underneath? Make a strength check if you want to try to move it. Okay. Yeah. 
10. It's pretty solid stone. Yeah, I've got a really dumb idea. It says turn back. What if we all just turn around from it? Again, well, it's really dumb, but I thought it'd be funny. It doesn't. Hurt. It doesn't hurt except for that one creepy guy over there. I, I want to turn away from the thing and look towards him. Okay. Yeah, we'll turn away from the slide. See what happens. How long do we wait turning away? That's a good question. <laughs> I'd wait. I'd it a solid minute, at least. Yeah. As you are facing away from this lab, uh, those of you who are facing towards the spectral figure in front of you, uh, they go back to caretaking. Turn around. Does anything change then? After the minute? Mm -mm. I'm going to sit down on the slab. <laughs> and I know I'm actually gonna lay down on it. You know, it's, it says on the bottom back. It's a little cold. Um, it's uncomfortable. <laughs> There's no pillow. Mm. All right. Is I'm anyone opposed? There... Anyone opposed from going right? Like Cascade said, I am I slightly. Have... I have one other idea. Uh, Cascade's gonna reach into her bag and pull out a sheet of paper. Okay. Um, and she's going to just carefully fold it. Uh casting the cantrip origami as she does, uh, taking the form of a crane. Okay. I can mentally direct the crane to move, uh, or name a location within a mile that you know that you know of. I know of there being a Draco Lich lair nearby. This is a long shot, but that's what her intention would be, and releasing the crane to see if it goes towards a particular door. I swear to God, if you say it goes to the slab. Almost guaranteed that it Actually, does. Actually, yeah. no, it doesn't. Um, the crane lifts up and just flies right where it is. We're here. That's that's That was it's, the assumption, but... It's underneath seeing... us. Well, it's through one of these portals, isn't it? I don't think so, because if it was through a portal, then when I asked Eldat, that should have led us through a portal. Instead, it led us straight to this. Didn't you say the, the, the dragons can change form? This is no dragon. Like Our creature, Draco Lich, sorry. <laughs> can I, I look know, can under they? this thing? <laughs> uh, Yeah, it's, there's a couple cobwebs. It's a little dusty. Cool. I befriend a spider. The spider regards you with curiosity. Mm. <laughs> uh, again, I vote we go right. Is that rumbling <sighs> back now? Yep. Where does it sound like it's coming from? All around you. Just all around? Yeah. Okay. As if uh, the mountain is sh slightly shaking. It, humor me, uh, pals. We've talked about going straight. And then it started rumbling. And then when we said, let's turn back, it stopped. And now we're thinking going right. And the rumbling's back. I don't I don't really know what that correlation is other than, like, either, hey, you've picked the right direction, or, oh my gosh, stay away. Or like, let's... This is the incorrect way. So let's go back. Know. Or it's a coincidence, and there's just a rumbling here every so often. Or we can agree to go back and see if it stops. Go back where? Through the way we came. Turn back. I don't think we should do that. Mistral went through and I send lost Mistral... complete contact with her. Okay, so send Mistral through the right corridor and see what happens. Right? She obviously okay. didn't die. Yep. I'll send her to the right side. Uh, see what happens. Passes, passes that threshold, uh, you lose contact with her. Rinse and okay, <laughs> same same thing. Whatever it is, is is farther away than I can reach they're, her. They're portals, so I mean, it should be easy I'll to assume that, right? If it's well, a portal somewhere. I mean, uh, I mean, a quarter of a mile is a long way away. True. But maybe so is where the portal leads. So, I mean, 
It's up to you, but... it's just a slide. Yes. What, why not because try her in the other slide. two, then? Because if no, one I of can, them's the right I way... Can, I can try the other two. Yep. Is there anything different about the other two portals in my Mistral interaction? Uh, the only thing that's different is as you start focusing on the portals again and sending things through, uh, the spectral uh, figure is now paying attention to you again. And nothing mm. else is different, though. He's waiting for... Our, pardon. They are waiting for our choice. All right, let's go yeah. right then. Is there any other? Uh, just one more thing. If is there any anything in this room um, besides the writing on the stone slab um, indicating where these portals lead? You said there's tombstones, I guess, right? Mm-hmm. It is as if you are in a ghost graveyard, where even the graveyard itself is a ghost. Mm -hmm. Slightly like, almost like a neon green hue to the slabs with like the kind of murky blue purple fog going through. Mm. But no, there's no other indication about the archways, the okay. tunnels, the anything. All right, I guess I have no objections to go right. Okay. I mean, at this point, I guess it's... we got to choose one. As good a direction as any. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll go right first. I guess we all go together. I want to hold hands. Yep. I'll hold hands. Cascade declines. Mm. <laughs> oh, all right. Uh, let's say marching... Hold my tail if you want. Same okay. marching order? Sure. Yeah, sounds good. You walk through this uh, archway, and uh, as you are stepping down, uh, you see that it kind of bends to the right a little bit, and you take the right around, and in front of you is a room about the size of a basketball court with a slab in the center of it, an ethereal-looking graveyard with creepy mist and a strange spectral figure that is looking at you <laughs> from a different place let's let's oh. do the let's do the order so left uh, is next well time out where where the hell is he uh he but is he's in a different place he is closer to you um like as you come through the room is oriented the same way it was the first time you went in uh-huh um he was like across and to the left. He's now like near you, close to the door, as if waiting for you to come through. Ooh, I don't like. I uh, yeah. I think we. Uh, I think we continued the pattern. Uh, those who enter, none are left. Left. Yeah. Go through the left one. Yep. Okay. One by one in the marching order, you go through the spectral figure regarding you as you go past, one by one. Um, as you get close to him, because you, you would have had to physically be next to him to go through the archway into the room, uh, <laughs> you can hear what Cascade heard in, in its head. Um, this, like, almost whispered muttering of just garbled nonsense. Um, you go through the left portal, and it does the same thing. It curves to the right you find yourself in the same room again. Straight. Mm. Yep. That's the next one. As I, as I pass him, I want to say peace be with you. <laughs> um, in an odd response during the mumbling, you hear and also with you. Um, oh my god. <laughs> uh, as you go straight through the door and toward the other door on the other side, you pass the slab which no one had checked the other times. Um, ah, crap. The first and the second lines are no longer glowing. <gasps> oh. We're doing it. Straight through the portal, turns to the right. You find yourself in the same room again. The spectral figure is again next to the door waiting for you to come through. Uh, you know where we're going. Come on, well, guys. No. Hold Sorry, on. Now we got to look at the slab this time, though, because we walked past it. Oh, just to confirm it. Yeah, I look at the slab again. The third line okay. is no longer glowing. 
Okay, okay so turn back. back. Game. So turn back. Uh, Bree and Cascade, if you were to look backwards at the spectral figure as you go through this tunnel, um, you would see as you kind of pass that threshold where Mistral had kind of bamfed out, uh, you can see the graveyard fading as if there was nothing in the room to begin with. This time, however, the tunnel doesn't go to the right. It goes to the left. And starts to get wider. And again, you hear the large rumbling from below and all around of the mountain trembling. It's slightly louder this time. And now you can feel the earth beneath your feet shaking. You all find your way through this tunnel and you see that the tunnel ends in what looks like a giant tower has been shoved through the ground. Whoa. Hmm. And you are on the outside of one of the curved walls that is broken. Oh, map. I know. Mm. You can see Can't in see. to this tower, and there is a walkway that goes all around the outside of it. I don't I'm think my, my yeah, I don't think the visions are in. Okay. There's no I refresh just in case. I should not see able to see this fucking map. Oh, roll twenty eight. I know it's institute. Did a refresh work though? It's loading. Okay. Uh, fine. Fuck it. We're doing this. Yes, I see it. <laughs> Everybody else sees it. I'm assuming. Uh, yeah, I do. Yes, I do see it. See it. it. So. Oh uh, yes, I see it. It just loaded in. All right. <laughs> I know. You, you see the outside of this tower, and you can see this raised little walkway that goes around, and the staircase that goes down to a lower, uh, uh, like, uh, area. Um, mm -hmm. You can uh, kind of see that there's a break in the inner wall uh, that leads into what you imagine to be a central chamber, and you can see that the tunnel continues past. Um... Who has higher than a 20 passive perception again? Me. Delvin Fendor. Oh, I'm at a, I'm at a 16 passive perception. And so who, just oh. Delk. who has higher so than just a Delk, yeah. 20 investigation? Me. So Delg mm -hmm. and Fendor. Fenjor, something is off. Uh, you've been looking around you the whole time that you've been coming through here, and uh, it's looked like it was a cave that had never been inhabited. However, now, as you get closer to this tower, you start to pick up tracks. I would like to check for traps. Uh, <laughs> sure, you can make an investigation check for traps if you'd like. <laughs> Can I tell how old this tower is? That one for 22. God damn. Um, <laughs> the tower appears to be ancient stone. Um, Fenjor, you see no traps, but in looking for them, the tracks you do see are identical to the ones that you saw in the den. And with your higher than 20 passive perception, Delg, you can hear a small chorus of growls. Hey guys, I think we found where they moved to. Hmm. Oh, cool. And that's where we're gonna end tonight. Oh god. Okay. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Y'all, we made it somehow, kind of. <laughs> made it where? We made it now. somewhere. <laughs> no. Somewhere. Now here is the point that I would like to make. I thought this is where we were going to end, Arquan. <laughs> uh, oh, nice. cool. 
<laughs> yeah. Hello, it's hi. You. Yes, hello. Oh hi. Gosh, we yes. haven't been able to play Morningstar in some time. <laughs> you have to like get back in I the think... character and do all the bits. <laughs> yes. I mean, Buy I wouldn't, a, I wouldn't have changed a dino it. cat. Yeah, I wouldn't have changed anything. It was great. I loved the session so much. I really um, wanted to quench yeah. Sight Blinder in like, I don't know, somebody. <laughs> you might have a chance unless you guys decide that this is a stealth situation. Your choice. I mean, yes. Just because stealth. something is stealth Dog, doesn't Dog mean you can't do us some stabby away. stabs. That's true. Fair. That is true. Stealth Why are you going to hurt the puppies? <laughs> Fuck werewolves. Um, yeah, so you guys... Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, the two of you aren't one yet. Yes, that's true. <laughs> Uh, and also, uh, once we once we take that particular line uh, to its conclusion, I will let you guys know everything's been going on because it's kind of cool. And <laughs> I would like to apologize for the source book I found. Um, oh no! But since, <laughs> since there's since there's some oh, no. some sleepy things, since there's some sleepy things, uh, I will tell you a little bit about uh, this. Um, so I want to talk about this. Not like in depth, but I do want to like, peel the curtain back. A, a lot of what I'm pulling from is the new source book by D&D. Uh, it is from Van Richten's. Awesome. Uh, that particular oh, hey. creature that you just had uh, pass was a gallows speaker. <gasps> Whoa, weird and creepy. Uh, Look it up. <laughs> gallows what? speakers arise from places <laughs> of math, mass death or sites where creatures regularly meet their doom. Hmm. Was there a great? But there was wrong ways to go. Yes. Oh yeah. Oh, the picture for it, frightening. Yeah. Anyone else would like to partake? Yeah. I'm listening. Well, I don't know if you can. Maybe I don't know. Okay. I don't want to see a scary picture. I'll have nightmares. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> I'm like my sleep deprived brain was like the slab, and it kept pointing at the slab, and then there I was like, left. I have a left. Oh, this oh, thing is shit. definitely. <laughs> I have a left. <laughs> and then I thought I was really paranoid for a long time that I was like too too drunk to taste this chicken. And like, cause that right, I was like, I don't know, dude, that seems like a stretch, but I'm gonna go with it. And we're it was hope so on best. point though. I, I thought about trying to attack home slice at some point, so. <laughs> No, never, never attack the creepy guy that just stands in the fucking corner. Don't nah, touch dude. him. Don't look at him. Just leave him alone. I'm looking at the person his who broke inside right his now. brains. Yeah. I didn't I touch him, it. and I didn't say that I really looked at him all that much. You saw that his face was melting. <laughs> and then I was like, avert my gaze <laughs> respectfully. Uh, a big old nope. So for the video, uh, let's uh, go around the horn again and uh, reintroduce ourselves to characters we played. Where people can find you if they want to stalk you, and uh, what you got coming up on oh, the please don't pipeline. Do that. I mean, like on like follow you on Twitter or whatever. Yeah, that's fine. Ring, that's ring, that's ring. acceptable. <laughs> ring, ring yourself, motherfucker. <laughs> I am Chum, and you can stalk me at all my channels that are called Chum Nation. So stalk away. <laughs> Haven't I've never had a stalker before. So that sounds exciting. I have. You don't want um, me. <laughs> yeah, wow. that guy. Yeah. Oh my God. Um, uh, but yeah, I've been uh, playing uh, Varys Selvar in the High Elf Warlock. And um, yeah, uh, well, you know, I'm off work uh, for the next uh, couple weeks. Uh, I'm going out of town for a few days, but I might stream when I come back. You never know. <laughs> Keep an eye out. Hit that follow button and turn the notifications <laughs> on. We'll, we'll see. Uh, <laughs> otherwise, you can find us uh, back here next Sunday. Uh, well, for hopefully more on Nat Star. Twenty. Hopefully. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not here on on Nat Twenty. <laughs> uh, I'm sure we'll figure it out with another another week to go. So, um, all right, Joe. Um, hey, I'm Joe. I go by the Nation of Joe on Twitch and the Nation of Joe underscore on Twitter. Um, <laughs> I uh, have been playing Bree, the Warforged Fighter Rogue, and um, th uh, things are quiet now. Uh, Roundhouse is over, and um, Crits and Giggles are on kind of a, a break because of scheduling and, and things like that. So 
next thing besides maybe some random uh, personal streams on my channel will be uh, the next uh, Morning Star and Company. Um, yeah, thanks for uh, thanks for hanging out. I catch you. Hey everyone, I'm Akechi. I play Delg, the stone shape and tree jumping god praying. Used to be in Fable Mine and recently widowed. Wish making, wafer wielding, cat taming, nature cleric, fighter. Um, Happy. Yeah, yeah, with the uh, roundhouse gone, the next thing is uh, next Sunday for Morning Star. We get to hopefully find ourselves uh, some dragons and people might forget that I'm a werewolf, maybe or not. Who knows? You haven't tamed <laughs> that cat yet. That's it. The cat taming. <laughs> it's it's in the process. Um, yeah. Over to you, Sarah. Uh, hi, I'm Osiris Franco. I play Cascade Traylon, the Water Genasi Order of the Scribes Wizard. Uh, if you like my face and the words I say, sometimes you can follow me on Twitch and Twitter at Osiris Franco. Uh, as for where you can find me, uh, this week, gosh, mighty. Uh, I'm over at TBK Roleplay uh, tomorrow night for Atrium of the Aquarius. Uh, Atrium of Aquarius. There we go. Uh, the Altered Carbon campaign. I'm also in Harper's on Tuesday. Uh, and then uh, Morning Star and Company here on Sunday. But you can also find me in Against the Tides uh, on the 31st, as well as Dark Echoes, Curse of Strahd campaign. Uh, and we'll be doing Murder and Coffee uh, as well. So those are kind of what I got going on in the soon's times. Words be happening. Ash. <laughs> <laughs> I adore you. Uh, hey, that's me. I'm Ash. You can Ash. No, but you're on Twitch and over on Twitter. Uh, as far as what I got going on, uh, this next week, and then I guess the ties next Saturday. I am constantly coming up with sick ideas for that, so I'm excited. Uh, you guys are going to fight a giant. It's going to be real cool. Anyway, uh, that's Hell me. Yeah. Hey, uh, Direct, it's over to you. Hey, guys. Uh, it's your boy, Direct Threat. Um, I'm the guy that rolled all the ones for scores over 20 tonight, uh, playing <laughs> Fenjor Valdo. <laughs> um, I think, I think it was what five. I, I think I rolled yeah. five nat ones. That's pretty um, insane. It's pretty it was insane. Amazing. Many nat ones. Yeah. And it's, it's even crazier that they all ended up being over 20. Fucking um, <laughs> anyways, uh, you guys can find me at twitch.com slash direct threat, uh, Twitter direct underscore threat, oh, fucking underscore. Um, no, same. Underscores for days. <laughs> Uh, looking at the character sheet for the uh, Gallo speaker, uh, him and I are actually kind of similar as far as uh, characters go. Um, kind of interesting. I, was, um, I, was, I actually was wondering if you were going to engage with it because of that. Yeah, <laughs> it, it, I, I didn't really, I didn't look it up. You know what I mean? Like it, I wasn't trying to look it up, but yeah. I guess I, I, I probably should have thought about something. Um, anyways, uh, other than Nat Twenty next Sunday, uh, I. I'd play a lot of dark off off stream uh eventually i'll get a stream scheduled back up once i figure out this stupid job <laughs> anyways saint hey that's me uh i'm dmf saint you can find me on twitch and twitter at dmf saint uh as well as running things over uh here on nat 20 because you're watching this video live when it broadcasts not live yep that worked out um <laughs> next thing i've got coming up is morning star in a week uh, I can't pitch anything for my stream because God only knows when I've got internet. Uh, and then after that, uh, the following Saturday on the 31st of July, we we're doing Against the Tides, uh, where Turley will uh, hopefully not be fighting a giant. We'll hopefully just have another margarita uh, because <laughs> he's going through some shit. Um, but yeah, that's it. That's all we got. Thank you guys for uh, tuning in whenever you do tu tune in. Uh, the party is on the the entrance of a lair that has elements of bleeding through from the Shadowfell itself. So next uh -oh. session should be fun. Yeah, easy. Take, yeah, easy. Take care, y'all. We'll see you soon. <laughs> Bye. Please stalk me.